Good morning to you, Ram. How are you doing? Thanks for dropping by. I know this is a little bit different from what I usually stream, but I haven't streamed in a while, and I've been itching to play the demo of this, and I thought I would just go for it. Hey, Don. Hey, Miss Consvika. I cannot pronounce your name. Every time I try and say it, I get it wrong. But good to see you all. Thanks for dropping by. Apologies if it's a bit echoey. I'm still working out exactly how to set this room up. Um, and I think it changes every time I record at the moment. I'm just having a coffee and getting comfortable. Hey, Dr. Doctor. <laughs> Troll a little bit. Don't forget, of course, that you can do exclamation mark first uh, to uh, Dr. Doctor didn't forget, although they did forget the command, to um, get your point. It's very early in the morning, TRAM, but this is also like a really good time to stream, and I get up at this time anyway to feed the dog. So I thought, why not Why not try a stream at this time and see how it goes? So it might, it might sound a little bit, Godzikova, Godzikova, Godzikova. Is that it? Godzikova. Hopefully I've got it. So this is a really interesting looking strategy game coming from Atlas. Um, no, the bot's still being cheeky. All right, you've got to give, you've got to give it a bit of time. you got to let the bot re work out what's going on. Uh, <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. It's been so long since I streamed. I've been really looking forward to actually doing this. Don't ban the bot. The bot's the, bot's the best. <laughs> hey, driver, how's it going? All right, I'm going to kick this off and we'll get the opening. It's not like I just got out of bed. Yeah, I just got out of bed. But I'm having a coffee and I'll pick it up. It's um, There's a lot of... This game will do a lot of talking for itself anyway, so we'll let it just switch chill while I drink my coffee and then we'll just chill. We'll just get it started, I think. Um, excellent. Godzikova. I was trying to remember that. Hey, Zombie Killer, thanks for dropping by. I'm going to start a new game and we'll see how it goes. I'm really curious about this game. I've seen it popping up for a while and I don't know that much about it. I know it's mostly voice, so I'll be keeping my I'll just be commenting really rather than constantly commenting until we get to combat where I can talk a lot. So we've got a rainy kingdom. And a queen with very practical combat wear. I beg you, my queen. Take leave of this place while you're still able. To where, I might ask. My every last of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Valmor. So remember that she just said that she's not going to flee anywhere. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive. Yet the general seeks my death and mine alone. I shall not flee from that fate. Though you still can. A soul rider with Elaine at your side. Take him, Joseph. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree capable of weathering the harsh climate. I don't even know what's going on with those shields, Tyler. Fuck, I, I don't know. She's also got combat thigh highs, but nothing to protecting her, like, her actual thighs. Hold it close to you until Elaine is a man grown. So she said there's no point fleeing, but now is telling her knight to flee with her son, who is obviously the protagonist. But it's pretty, pretty stereotypical, but decent setting. Kingdom Falls, Crown Prince flees. I'm getting the Witcher vibes from it. The animation's not bad. Looks like they've rigged the models. Heed well these words, Elaine. I say this not as your As long as the combat's good, I don't care about the plot. But also, I would like her to applaud. From here yes, forth, uh, adamantine skirt. To treat it's not really a skirt, it's more like a band that's been cut into. Oh, so that's a, 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 um, a concerning amount of thigh for a queen to be um, of course, <laughs> showing off right now. Is there something amiss? My voice will wake up as I drink this coffee. My faith and more lies with you, Joseph. I only pray it is enough. So the queen's staying behind for a desperate last stand and setting off her son. And may the heavens guide it's, I've seen so many fantasy stories start this way. As long as I get an excuse to raise an army and fight baddies, I'm happy. Your hour is perfect. Here, Joseph? Aren't you going to help her? Oh, it's a belt. Okay, that makes some more sense. Would that I were able, my prince. Oh, this is pretty good so far. Come, we've not a minute to spare. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Doctor. All right, here's the combat map, which I think is very reminiscent of like Final Fantasy Tactics, but it's a real-time combat thing rather than a uh, turn-based. Hey, T-Rim. I think I already said hi to you. Yeah, I have. I just said a little EP, you're right. 
Oh, Team M got the cash. Our great general reduced a little more than a base traitor, hmm? You'll find my head not so easily parted from my shoulders, Valmar. I wonder if you can say the same. Come, everyone. We march this day for Her Majesty Alinea. Alright, combat tutorial. Ooh, that's a nice mu mu music sting. Unit movement. Move a cursor with L to select allied units and command them to move across the battle stage. Select Queen Alinea's unit and use the move command to make them march towards Valmar's position. Alright, so we've got... We can't go into a lot of detail here, but you can see in the bottom right-hand corner that we've got um, the units arranged on a grid. And that's like the most interesting part of this game for me, is you can assemble units and they fight using like a gambit system like Final Fantasy XII. Um, it is an early stream lightning, yeah. I'm trying to just see how the audiences feel about stuff like this. Hey Spartan Laser. So you'll see how it goes, you'll see how the combat works when we move our, our team towards the general. This isn't a real battle, this is just a like, you're gonna lose. So you can see how we, if I go in here, you can see that we've got these units set up on this grid and each of them has a different tactic on the right there. And that's what they're going to do, like top to bottom in priority. It, you'll obviously get to customize all of this as you go. But uh, yeah, I think it looks very, very interesting. I think it could be a lot of fun making really cool little formations. And you get multiple formations as well, obviously for this step battle, we've only got one. Uh, but let's see what the combat's like. Um, interesting. I played this game on the Switch, and when you play it on the Switch, you do not get a sexy witch as your, um, <laughs> as your combat guide. Uh, that's like a, a young guy in the Switch version of this game. We shall see our duty through. I trust you. So I'm not getting any control anymore. Here, what you do is you set all this up before the battle, and you just let it play out when you actually get into a fight. Go. But she definitely wasn't a sexy wish in the um, the Switch version of the game. <laughs> the animation is very nice. Also, she fights with a sword and has two bucklers. I'm really thrown by that sexy wish. I wasn't expecting to see that at five o'clock in the morning. That was just like a, a person in a cloak on the Switch version. So I guess the PlayStation version is a little bit more uh, risque. And you see again, like I'm not controlling anything here. They're just getting into the fights. Yeah, Last Remnant as well, I think, is, is yes, the Last Remnant's a good, a good reference. It's kind of an auto-battler, but you're still moving your units around the map. So you're not going to see it for this mission, because it's it's set on rails, but you actually do have objectives to take, and you order people to different locations, and you can only deploy so many units, you have to build them very carefully. My magic is yours. You can also skip the battles if you get bored watching the battles, but I actually think they look really cool. They also don't fight to the death. They fight until they run out of AP. Um, and everyone, I think, starts with one AP. So I think she was just able to give him AP with a spell. But she turned into bats this time. That's very, very, very different to the first game. To not the first game, to the demo on the Switch. This is also only a demo. But if I decide to pick the game up, I'll be able to transfer my save into the full game. That's also what really appealed to me, appealed to me Dom. Grand Corinne Castle Town. Does he sound like Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Is that okay? Enlighten me, Valmor. To what end do you seek to usurp my throne? Self-centered fool. It's not merely your throne I aspire towards. It's all of them. Zenoira are the rightful sovereigns of Feverith, and I the blade to restore our world to its natural order. You seek to plunge the continent into war. <laughs> Feverith need not suffer your delusions. A proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking with insufferable neighbors. Pointless politicking would be quite hard to say. I'm, I've just woken up, Zack. That unity through conquest and reclaim Come on, Don. This is a Japanese RPG. There's no way that that is actually the bad guy. That's the puppet that thinks it's the bad guy. And flashed away. And now we time travel ten years into the future. But not quite yet. I promise you, my queen, the royal lineage shall endure. It is but a great shame I couldn't aid you further. 
<laughs> no, that guy there, the guy that looks like he's um, spooky old wizard, that's the real bad guy, surely. That has to be the real bad guy. It's always the spooky wizard that helps the bad guy. We stand now at a new dawn for Feverith, one which will see Zenoira's dominion restored at last. No, it's a demo on both. So I've only played the first mission on the Switch. There wasn't a lady with a spear there, Tyrion. She had a sword. Yeah, this guy's this this old man with the with the Santa Claus beard. That's the bank bad guy. Totally lightning. And they make no effort at all to pursue the lonely, um... <laughs> exactly, Tyler. Year 895 of the Hollow Chronicle. Voice acting's top Clayton tier so far. ...the scion of the fallen Sonoiran Empire. Cordia's once decorated General Valmor rebelled against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corinne. It's Queen Alenia, bold in the face of this staggering betrayal, stood unshrinking as the shield to her son Elaine's safe flight, and mustering what meager forces remain by her side. She rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. Well, that's, that's negative. With Cornea's queen lost, care of the young prince fell to her faithful knight, Joseph. Who took wing beyond Valmor's wretched grasp to asylum on the Forded Isle of Palavia in the Holy Kingdom of Albion? And boastfully proclaiming himself Bevereth's new emperor, Valmor donned a second name, Calarius. Of course, he needs a new name. began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. So, I think there's five hours of content in this demo. So we get a decent chunk of the game to try out. Fell in vain time and again, and ere long, Zenoira's vile dominion was realized. So he conquered the whole world in ten years. That's pretty impressive. Once soaked unification come to bear, few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Embers of resistance yeah. burned off. Good old Albion. Yet the downtrodden could cling only to furtive hopes of liberation. It's a Japanese RPG TRM. There'll be like a hundred hours of actual gameplay. Night after unceasing night. We'll probably end up in the Shadow World at some point or in space. Ten years have passed since the Shroud of War first set over Cornea. So yeah, ten years later. So what, how old do you think the main character was in the opener there? Like six or eight? So like 16 or 18, that's pretty much peak. Peak protagonist age for a JRPG. Uh, I wonder if those two are at it again. Is that a, a battle well, skirt? That takes care of the altar. Yeah, exactly, Don. I should be getting back. So this is the combat map. This is where you, this is also the world map and the combat map. Exactly, TRM. If we haven't killed God, we haven't finished the game. And there's a church called the Orthodoxy in this game, so at some point the church is going to be the bad guy too. 15. Mm. This is very pretty. I really like this art style. I like the kind of pastel colors. There's our, there's our protagonist. But this round's mine. Ah, uh, you always were the optimist. The animation is great. Damn it. You got a good hit in. I'll give you that. There's just no stopping you these days. Yet you've grown no less than I have. Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then, never manage to best Joseph. Weird to think he's back on the mainland now. Finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be going up against Anoira soon. Indeed it does. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex. Crying out for... Something I've, I've noticed in the demo, in the Switch demo. Turn a deaf ear to those voices. 
I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel as At the moment, Elaine is left-handed. That, and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. And Lex is right-handed. Well, yeah, but... But that will not be the case the in later scenes. The of their hand. How are we going to fight back against that? The earth may be theirs, but the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. Ooh, I don't like that line. You got a point there. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Thanks, Lex. Thank you, Lex. You I'm sure you won't betray us at some point or become a berserker God, or something. Stop. You're going to make me blush. I don't know that, by the way. This is just <laughs> JRPG um, stereotypes. Anyway, that's enough training for today. <laughs> yeah, Tyler. Miss lunch if we don't yeah, they've married the sprites, Don. That's exactly what's happened. I suppose it is that time. Oh my God, our sprites have hmm? back shots. You see something out there? I'll give this one thing. It gets yeah. going. I mean, some RPGs, you will be sitting in cutscenes for like 40 minutes before it starts, but this we're going straight into our first battle now. We have to tell the others. With you there. I hope not, Tyrim. You head for the cathedral. I'll make sure the town knows what's coming. It's okay, they talk about battering, bashing swords later. And do it quick. Not a There's a funny line that's full of euphemism. Oh, there's gonna be thoughts of grinding for sure. All Wait a minute, he looks familiar. Here. Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. Wasn't he one of the defenders of the queen? What's he doing here? In, Zen in Zenarian colors. Alive. Understood, sir. Twist already. We're only in the first um, 20 minutes of the game. Oh, Heavenly Father, ruler of land and sky above. Whenever there's an orthodox slake, church in a JRPG, they are usually the ultimate bad guy. In my experience. The church always knows more about what's going on than anybody else, they keep it from everybody in these type of games. Such is my request as your humble servant. In the name of the guardian unicorn and that of the holy mother. Like, it comes so close to her saying amen there. It's actually a pause for it and everything. How many times must I ask you not to stomp around in the cathedral? What is the meaning of this? Well, look what we've got here. Seems we're the first to show. That's pretty good VA for random throwaway soldiers at the start of the game. But don't forget, the girl dies and our heads will roll too. Such depravity exactly, not Zach. unpunished. Not in the house of the Heavenly Father. Also, this girl's a badass. Yeah, then you best get to praying. Watch this. And Elaine does not does not hold back on getting his first kills in. Like, we're not gonna go through that hero's journey of oh my god, I killed someone, what am I gonna do about it? He just marks two guys in the first couple seconds of him being on screen. At least he wears trousers unlike his mum. And are they aware that you're the crown prince? Oh, so they're not safe for certain. Interesting thing here also. The protagonist thinks they might be after him, but they're actually after Scarlet. Yes. My cathedral will see no more bloodshed this day. Come, let's move outside. Your Highness. Oh, just of gold. It's a relief to see you unharmed. Hold on. Where's Lex? He went ahead to alert the town. We best find him and get to the harbor. Indeed. But first, my prince, this belongs to you. It's Overlord, uh, Durgis. The Ring of the Unicorn. Oh, I see. <laughs> Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. In truth, I had it. Yeah, she's doing lots of barking in the background, isn't she? Age played more deeply across your face. But we know That's true, Crash Test. Such luxury. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. A keepsake from my mother. She should be asleep. She usually sleeps at this time. Thank you for this, Joseph. Truly. That is a sharp beard. Make no further mention of it. Now, let us be off. Yes. The unicorn seems to be a holy animal or something.
We've got the MacGuffin. We've got the, we've got the MacGuffin. We're ready to go. Okay, battles. So battle stages are fields of combat where allied enemy units wage war in real time. Each battle stage has victory conditions that must be fulfilled in order to complete it. You can deploy units from any base with a blue flag. And yeah, so let's deploy a lanes unit. No, the queen died in the opening. Or we didn't see the queen die, but it's implied that she died in the opening. Um, that's a good point, TRM. So it looks like we have three units unlocked at the start of the game, but we only have one unit available right now, which we can't customize, which is a lanes unit. So we're just going to deploy them. They will be ours. Deploying unit costs one Valor Point from the gauge display on the top left of the screen. Valor Points can be replenished by defeating enemies, liberating towns and fortresses, and more. Hey Oscar, I'm playing Unicorn Overlord, which is a demo of a new JRPG from Atlas. That looks really interesting. Yeah, Tyler, just build an army and take back the whole world. That's, that's what I'm thinking looks really interesting about it. Yeah, there you go, T-Rim just summarized everything. That, 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 that's a perfect summary. Thank you, TRM. Alright, so let's attack these guys. Onward. Um, when an unit encounters an enemy unit, the battle menu will appear at the bottom of the screen. Use it to organize your forces and view enemy details before battle. Set battle which prepare to enter the fray. So actually get a... It's not actually happening here, but you normally get a preview of what's going to happen. Um, and you can actually edit your formation and stuff before a battle. It's not locked in. Now, I can't actually edit anyone here. But Elaine is a lord. Um, he has the ability to lean edge and noble guard. I can't. Don't think I can actually. I can actually check stuff. So this attacks the enemy. Recover twenty five percent HP if it hits. Another twenty five percent HP if they're defeated. And then activates before being hit by a physical attack. Look at enemy attack with medium guard. Grants plus twenty defense and grants passive PP if the user has. Um, so you can see the crystals, the red and the blue crystals. That's how they can use their abilities. And then she will do a heal and an attack basically. But yeah, let's see how this goes. That was played according to the flow of various predetermined rules. First, a combatant's initiative determines the turn order within the battle. When a combatant turn arrives, they will use one of their active skills, which uses the red crystals. Using an active skill consumes AP. He does have a vampiric sword. Yeah, physic, I noticed that too. Combatants will take turns using active skills in order according to their initiatives. That will continue until all combats run, combatants run out of AP. So everyone at the start of the game has one AP. Passive skills will trigger when certain conditions are met, such as being hit by an attack. First, Elaine's Noble Guard skill triggers when he is attacked, causing him to protect himself. Using a passive skill consumes passive points. Next, Scarlet's Quick Heal skill triggers when an ally takes damage, thus healing the ally. Scarlet seems like an absolute boss to have around, because she'll auto-heal whenever you get attacked. But she only has one, one passive point, she only do it once per round. And then she has a pretty powerful spell too. Finally, the enemy's party bow skills triggers the end of battle before my additional attack. That's something that only this unit type has. Not every unit gets a party blow. That's something I didn't understand to start with. The battle will end when all combatants have run out of AP, or when all combatants on one side have been defeated. You can also press square to view the battle log to review the skills that were used in the battle. We march on. You have different physics in Japan. <laughs> If either unit is defeated in battle, both the side with a lower percentage HP remaining is the loser. When losing a battle, the defeated unit is knocked back and enters a waiting state, rendering it immobile for a short time. So we shoot, and you can... We almost have them. Just one more push. So you can pursue them and finish them before they recover. And Elaine is spelled weird as well. Engaging a waiting unit will grab the attacking unit a first strike. A unit executed first strike will always attack first regardless of initiative. So you've got slow units, you can use a faster unit to win and then hit them up. Hey, Reno. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's, everyone's obsessed with Sexy Witch. There will probably be more Sexy Witches. This is a JRPG. And that's that first enemy unit defeated. And we get way more XP for defeating the unit than we did for just killing a unit in it. Good. All that remains now is to reclaim the town. That's where Lex headed, right? I hope he's okay. Garrisoning a unit in a town, fort, or other facility will allow the unit to liberate the facility. Time is at hand. To me. For the liberation. That got us two Valor Points, which we can use to deploy more units. Liberating facilities will replenish Valor Points and boost your score upon completing the stage. Additionally, facilities that have been liberated will serve as bases from which allied units can be deployed. Thanks. Hey, uh, sorry about that. They caught me off guard there. But don't worry, everyone's safe. I made sure of it. Lex is a weird unit because he's like a defensive unit with bad stats. I know I was right to count on you, and I'm glad you're unharmed as well. 
Whereas Elaine is like a perfect tank with his self-heal and his self-buff. Uh, Lex doesn't have any of those abilities. It makes him a really awkward unit to fight with. Still wish I could have done more. I was scared up ahead. You just able to move to any location you specify. Select so this unit and move him to the right location. So Lex is, Lex is a new unit we've just unlocked. And he is on his own in his own unit block. Um, and he has Warning Slash, which attacks an enemy and gives him 20% physical defense and ability to, to um, block arrows. But you can see that these abilities are just nothing compared to how good Elaine's are. And also Lex needs to attack to get his physical defense buff. And I think he's, um, he's a very slow unit, so he never usually attacks first. He's an awkward unit. On it. Good good voice actor though. Yeah, no dice dirges. All done. We'll go to bed, puppy. If you can hear me talking, that's the problem. This is what I was hoping for. It's time to show these guys what I'm made of. Um, that's a lot of a lot of units, <laughs> Alex. Yes, sir. But the game wants me to order them into battle, so here we go. I'm ready to hit something. Well, you're getting wrecked. See, now he gets his defense boost. But they're all faster than him, so it's kind of a really awful ability. So you see, when you lose, you get knocked back and stunned. Damn, might have gotten too eager there. Lex, no, we'll never make it in time. Allow me, your highness. Um, different units have different degrees of mobility. The higher the status, the quicker they move through the battle stage. A unit's combined mobility is determined by the individual mobility stats of its members. So we're going to deploy Joseph. Now, Joseph is the trap unit. Um, in service of the royal family. Joseph is a, a knight, but if we have a look at his details, he starts the game at level 20. So just like Fire Emblem, they're giving us a cavalry unit, a really powerful cavalry unit with some crazy abilities that can't gain experience. So I'm going to try and avoid using Joseph as much as possible. This is Chloe here. Chloe can heal people, which is actually great. Um, and she's a spear user, and spear users, users are pretty good, but Joseph is a trap. I mean, he's going to win you battles, but then people aren't going to get XP. I am your foe this day. Prepare to be struck down. So if you have units next to each other, you can use L1 and R1 to swap them on the map to protect them. So when two allied units are in close proximity, one can swap for the other. Press L1 and R1 to have Joseph swapped in for Lexus. Before body receive prediction of how much damage each unit will take. Note these predictions will change when swapping units. So the initial estimate is that um, Lex is going to get wiped out. If I press L1, we now swap in Lex, and Lex is going to wipe out everything and take no damage. So I don't like uh, Joseph, because Joseph is um, the old man who's probably going to die or out horribly some point time in the prologue. Yeah, Joseph just does damage, but takes gains no XP. I've not chosen my grave yet. Yeah, that's the wise enemies. So, how, yeah, sorry for making you worry. You know, it's a miracle you can even put your armor on straight. Here, this medicine perk you up again. Three healing tonics. When a combatant's HP falls to zero, they'll be rendered incapacitated. Items and skills can restore HP and revive incapacitated combatants. Uh, the good news is that units don't seem to permanently die in this game, unlike Fire Emblem. Select the items option from units action menu, choose an item. Oh really, Tyler? I don't I've actually not looked at anything like that. There we go, we've healed Lex. Lex is back in the action. Phew, I needed that. Chloe, perhaps you'd be better served watching after Lex directly. I fear he's a bit of a liability on his own. <laughs> wow, that's a <laughs> when your commander says that about you. Um Okay, so now I've got Lex and Chloe in a unit. So at least Lex is able to heal himself now. I didn't get the choice, Zach, unfortunately. It's, uh, this is a tutorial, so it's, but thou must. You have to do it exactly as you're told to. Now then, this area appears to be safe. Let's move on. Okay, now we get a small battle. But we actually get to control everything. Because we have to take this town. My word, that's Hodrick. He and I used to stand as the stalwart pillars of Cornea's defense. What might possibly have changed him? If you remember, this big guy with a shield was in the um, intro to the game. Prepare yourself, rebels. Any foolish enough to defy Emperor Galerius must be put to the sword. It seems combat is our only path forward. Indeed, ridding this land of the enemy must be our first and only priority. It's only coming to consoles, don't just yet. Unfortunately. No matter who that may be. And as we discovered, the Switch version is censored. Because there's no sexy witches in the Switch version. <laughs> uh. 
Time to express. I feel like the sexy witch, we're gonna have to add a sexy witch thing as a quote. Okay, so first battle, defeat Hodrick. We've got three units. What I'm gonna do here is as much as possible not use Joseph because um, Joseph is really powerful. So what we're gonna do is, uh, this looks like a good attack for us and we'll get, um, we'll get Lex to come around and attack this guy here. While Lex's group's gonna do a lot of damage, but take a lot of damage. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have Joseph um, sit with Elaine, so if anything goes wrong, he's going to cover him. As expected. This should be very, very easy to win. That vampire sword just makes Elaine incredibly durable. Oh, good, good dodge. Let me. And then her healing every time is just nuts. And she does more damage than Elaine as well. I think it's because magic pierces pierces armor. We march. To me. What I don't want is for Elaine's unit to do all the fighting, which looks like is what's happening here. A That's fine. A deficient plan. No, we're fine. Oh, did I not check the preview there? Oh, it's because these guys have got spears. That will actually cause a problem. The spears will go through. Oh, she actually dodged it. The spears will go straight through, and they'll actually hit people in the back back row. Oh, and she missed with her You're magic. Okay. I need to pay more, a little bit more attention rather than just skipping through this tutorial. We actually lost that fight, which is nuts. But that's fine, because um, I'll, hold, I'll hold Joseph back to protect Elaine. There he is. Would you ask? Okay, and then I'll, yeah. I'll get uh, Lex to fight these guys. Yeah, wow, she does damage. Again, like, Lex isn't able to get his physical attack boost until everybody else is gone. His physical defense boost. But at least he's got a heal here. That's better, only took three damage. Yeah, they'll wipe these guys out. I'm trying to get my lighter units the experience they need, so we're not going to use Yosef here, we're going to swap in Lex's unit. <laughs> Which you see how easy it is to avoid that happening as well, TRM. Oh, um, Lex just died. <laughs> In fact, both of them just died. He got a critical hit. I'm getting wrecked in the demo because I'm not paying enough attention. Okay, they both went down. And they're both being incapacitated. Messed this one up real bad. Lex, there's a little point pressing when one of our own group is full. Let's head back and regroup for now. I just actually failed the tutorial. <laughs> the game's going to restart the tutorial. Okay, let's let's not mess up that badly. Let's let the enemy come to us, and let's set up a defensive formation where everyone's supporting each other. Oh my god, that was embarrassing. I did not have this problem the first time I did this. Okay, they're not actually going to come forward, so I'm actually going to move us forward until we've triggered the enemy. Now, okay. Now we're going to move Lex forward, and we're going to move Joseph forward. Oh, this way I can swap everyone in and out as needed. Sorry about that. That was pretty bad. <laughs> I'm actually planning on playing this on the hardest difficulty as well, by the way. You really are, Doctor Doctor. Let me. Yeah. Sad trombone, indeed. They've got tons of experience there. Yeah. Yeah. they wipe them out. Oh, it's actually reset, I see. So it's actually gone into super easy mode for babies. Right, we're gonna get Lex's group to kill these because I want them to get experience too. There you go, they're both dead. I have you. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> so level ups are also like Fire Emblem where everyone has, um, uh, what's it called? Like traits and, um, Thanks, Sweats. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna do it. Um, I've I've done way more than this in the Switch demo, but we'll see how we go. Yes, sir. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> what did Zach say? Oh, because he said first time. <laughs> Thanks for respawn. Respawn is the best. I need to add more like snass. I should get the easy mode unlock. I'm really embarrassed. It's a the, the first boat gives points out to the first three people who say first at the start of the stream, but it's 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 a really weird, um, really weird what it picks up on. All right, let's send. So you can do eighteen damage, you can do twenty six damage, and you can do 
12 damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to send the group in close. I'll just get everyone to get in in close. Awaiting your command. And we're, we're going to send uh, Joseph in to, to soften up the enemy. I am yours to command. So uh, what next? I've arrived. She does have a really big arm. Not fail you. By your word. We'll send Joseph in first. Come. This struggle will only prolong the pain. Accept the mercy of a swift demise. I fail to understand, Hodrick. What has motivated this shift in allegiance? Joseph, Cornea's most decorated knight. I shall close the book on your tale myself. I have you! Come on, puppy. Cool. Taking care of the guard means I can get my other people in. I have Zack, yeah. I can't remember which ones I have played, but I've played a bunch of them. None of the Personas, though. I haven't played Persona. Such firm defenses. Our weapons barely leave a scratch. Perhaps my magic will work, though. Leave this to me, Elaine. Hold R2 to fast forward the game advance in time quickly. Fast forward can be both in stages and during battles. If the game is paused, fast forward will automatically resume it. So if we go in with, um, we'll go in with these guys first, I think, to soften up another. There's no point going in with them. They're not going to do any damage to him. We'll just send uh, Elena. No! I need to cancel. I don't want, uh, hang on. I don't want Joseph to go in. As you wish. I don't want Joseph to get the experience for beating this guy. Why are you doing this? You, who once stood as my mother's royal guard. Enough of your questions, well. Interfere, and I shall see you suffer for it. What is it, Don? Oh, so did Satramon play? I can't remember if it actually played. Exactly, Don. That's what I'm doing. That's what I always do. Okay, and then if we finish it off, we'll get a level up from both of them. Uh, no space, Zack. Just exclamation mark points. Alright, let's finish this tutorial. You need to have an S. Sorry. I'll add exclamation mark point maybe as a backup one. So HP, physical attack, physical defense, magic attack, and accuracy up for a lane. That's a good level up. This is play cool. Thanks to him. Accuracy, initiative, and HP up for Scarlet. Victory grows ever closer. All right, we completed the mission. Hey Salvador. Exactly. See, I got eighty-four thousand points. Isn't that amazing? Which means I'm great. 2100 gold, 8 honors, and 21 renown. Whatever that means. What foolishness is this? One such as I, brought low by the cornea vermin that gnawed our ankles. You yeah, I did too dumb. Far indeed, Huldrick. How many times did you stare death in the face at Her Majesty's side? Now, look what you've become. Here's some plot. I may stand as your swordmaster no longer, but I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descent. It's a pretty badass line, Joseph. Your Highness. Tell me, Hodrick, do you remember the times you and I played together? When I was still just a boy? Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast it's that cool. aside and bend the knee to Galerius? I Look how noble the main character is. Without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. Oh, T-Ram, holy crap. Thank you so much. <laughs> you legends. Wow. Elaine. Yes, I know there is. You can, you can use the points to play sound files. And also gamble them on stuff. I haven't... My YouTube doesn't have as much stuff as, as Twitch, unfortunately, for me to... I'm trying to add more and more stuff. The MacGuffin did a thing. Tis the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill-fated day, 
All the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. A frightful power. Thank you so Don't much, TRM. Frosty's first this big win of the year. On stream, at least. Thank you so much, TRM. You're a legend. Such I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Feverith to its knees. <laughs> Yay for the power of friendship. Unspeakable evil I wrought upon our world these last ten years. Though there is no greater misdeed than turning my spear upon you, Prince Elaine. That's enough. You mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I, I can't I think of a better way. Like, how much to thank you more? But thank you so much, dear. Your birthright, and nothing more. If I could name units, uh, well, I would name any units. Truly exists. So we've got the magic of brain cleaning. That is the T Rem is the go. Unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction. That's okay. The Orthodoxy has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn, how it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. It's entirely possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of that same power. So this means we can cleanse enemy generals, which is quite cool. Hmm. Hopefully, recruit them. Should Galerius's rule be built upon a foul sorcery that fetters our people? Then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked heart. Your words ring. Oh, Don! Oh my goodness! Indeed, were we able to free those bound? Thank you so much, Don. What's with all those super chats? Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. All told, I've often I get so awkward with people super chat, I don't know how to thank them properly. That guides our march? You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much. Yet the answer is clear as day now. It'll play in a second. The before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, mother. Oh, he just made a swear on his sword. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. Mists. I'm waiting for it to play so I can properly, like, them. thank you. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled and slay Galerius like the beast he is. I just realized I wasn't on all chat, so apologies to people I've missed. Hey, Jans, how's it going? She's a cleric. Thank you so much, Don Vincenzo. I don't know why it hasn't played yet, but it should play in a second. It is... Well, we're trying to find out if it's good. That's the thing, Janus. Well, all things considered, any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared. And he's there we go. ready to fight once more. By the way, your I was drawn in by the promise of Sexy Witch. Where's the Sexy Witch? We have to go find the Sexy Witch, that's the problem. The members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight. Greg is indeed not a witch. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna go get the Knight Clive. Clive is the worst name for a knight ever. You have my thanks. We're pretty much jumping straight okay. into the next combat. Is something wrong? Exactly, Tiram. That's what I like. The game just gets going. No, it's nothing. Are you sure? Anxiety will be the death of you if you keep it bottled up. Yeah, she's got that kind of ooh, ooh cute it's toe stance. I saw someone just pointed out. I assure you. Tell what it is. Our lives have changed so drastically from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. I can't say I feel any different. I have never played Final Fantasy 16. That's Final Fantasy I played I've was 10. It's why I've combat, exactly. We're going to find out in the next battle, Yance, because we have to do a full combat in that in that one. A shame you never had the chance to well, there was a sexy witch at the start of the game, Zach, that I was really shocked by because there wasn't a sexy witch in the, the Switch version of this game. I intend to lead in much the same way. Is that why you and Lex spent all your days banging swords There you go. <laughs> why you and Lex spent all your days banging swords by the... You've seen that, have you? I think that's hilarious. Those two lines no. are so funny. Podrick was likely but one of many. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoira are being controlled as he was, we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days. Promising, yes, but gravely fragile as well. It just depends how the plot grows, sweetest. precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet. 
I told you about the puppy. I was hoping she would just fall back to sleep. She usually sleeps until like one of the four hours this time of day. Of course. I should be really annoying my housemate. I can, as is my role as a priestess of the Palavian Church. So we have a name for the Orthodoxy. It's the Palavian Church. Hey, don't forget about me. <sighs> Lex. <laughs> I'm not quite sure on Chloe's armor I'm either. Sorry, her like, her male or scale mail right. um, top well, doesn't really protect her thighs. No reason to let formality bind us. But there are protocols to observe. Rules we must follow as vassals in service of the crown. Still, right. I'm of the same mind. Don't be so desperate to what become a peasant. Has, that is. I'll give my all in the royal name, your majesty. Thank you all. I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try playing on expert. You can all laugh at me when I completely mess up. They have to be super uncomfortable. Imagine fighting in those. You couldn't bend your legs. Where's okay. Yusuf? Why have you oh, that's right. He's gone on ahead. We're surrounded. Everyone's commenting on the boots. I love it. Oh no, ambush! Party I was hoping for. It kind of just looks like leggings, Yans. Nice work, team. Although Lex continuing to disappoint. Let her go. I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. Renault's another one of the knights that was protecting um, the queen. I'm just going to deal with the dog after this cutscene. I'm going to bring her in and see if she'll relax in here with me. Because she's not happy about not being in here. Unhand her this <laughs> exactly done. No, I don't think that will be happening. Exactly, Swites. I act under Is it Swites or Swites? Galerius himself. As for what he plans to exactly, Zach too. That's not for one of my station to know. Quick, use the unicorn ring on him. Yet I shall see it done all the same. Okay, I need to get the dog. No. Oh, that's not working. Okay, I'll see it like this. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get the dog. I'll be two seconds. All right, I brought her in, and hopefully, she's gonna relax. I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight <sighs> I spoke of. Oh, come, the knight Clive. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. So we've been introduced to the mercenaries. Who was that knight who took her? His name is Renault. Formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia, not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius, little Joseph and Clive magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same, why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately, I've heard tell of Zenoira's. She's gonna bark in a second just to warn everybody. Orthodoxy, making one with direct ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear, should she fall into Galerius' hands. And sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. At least the lane's a man of action. He doesn't want to hang around. Do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. And you are? Don't worry, he's a friend. 
A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Ah, Travis the Thief. Hey, the universe, how's it going? To refer to a spy. You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather. I She's getting pets, don't worry. And what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city. But the real problem they did. is his army <laughs> mercenaries. We won't have to Renault. We've got to go through them. You're going to hear some dog noises because she's got a toy. Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. We depart as soon as we're able. Okay, combat time. This is a big battle. This is our first big battle. So we have to take that fort. So the fortress over there serves as the enemy command post. Indeed, Your Highness. And the region will not know peace until we can claim it as our own. House Carl. So there's new enemy type. House Carls are excellent attackers who can lower an enemy's defense and deal heavy damage. As for us, this fortress here is our first and final line of defense. If the enemy overruns it, we'll have nowhere left to turn. Then we are we defend it at any cost and proceed forward um, with extreme course. Yeah, you'll hear lots of tippy tappies because this is a wooden floor in here where I just have a carpet. Um, she will not settle now because she wants to leave the room and I've closed the door. So she's going to bark in a second. Um, I have a plan to settle her. So just what I will do, uh, we lose the, the grand process thing and we win if we defeat Alvin. I'm going to see if she settles. If she doesn't, I've got a plan. Okay, she's not going to settle. Right, let me just pause the game. And I will be two seconds when I just sort the dog out so she's not going to interrupt us and that we'll get on with this battle. I need to unmute my microphone before I start playing. So the dog should be sorted now. She can go wherever she wants to go. And um, we need to sort out our unit formations because our starting units are terrible. Um, so let's have a look at our, unit, our options. Um, on this screen, you can add, swap, or remove members from a unit. Perhaps we ought to explain the strength of each class type first. What do you say? I'll let them do the tutorial because we haven't, because it'll help for chat to know what's going on. Um, so this information will be valuable. Please go on, as you wish. To begin with, with cavalry classes such as mine are quite effective when facing enemy infantry. As such, you may always call upon me to dispatch infantry in your path. Also, um, cavalry have high mobility, so putting them in a unit increases the unit's speed. That's a highly effective against infantry-based units, and they have high mobility. Remember, Your Highness, that danger lies around every turn upon the field of battle. If the shield I bear is more than capable of defending our allies from harm. So he's a hoplite, which is a weird name for his class, because, I mean, he does have a spear, but I wouldn't call a hoplite, in my mind, a heavily armored unit. But boasting great shields, armor, and high physical defense, hoplites are stat warriors excel at protecting allies, so the defensive guy. Um, defending is not the only way to survive, though. If you ask me, you're better off not getting hit in the first place. Thieves are really interesting. Thieves evasion tank. And I really want to make use of that. Um, so we're going to take, uh, we're going to use Travis. And just speaking of the best place, the first two is fight on the front row, or the back row for fatal combatants. Look up on the full information, for example, on how you wish to deploy. So those suggestions are Lord and Knight, um, Lord and Hoplite, um, Lord and Thief. Um, I've got some ideas. Now we only have available to us one unit that can heal, okay? So Elaine can heal and Chloe can heal, which makes things a little bit awkward. I don't want to use Joseph if I can avoid it because Joseph um, kind of will, will, will uh, what's the word? Joseph will unbalance things a little bit. So what I'm thinking is, um, Clive and Elaine, just as a, as a powerful unit, oh, I didn't mean to do this. What I, what I wanted to do was I wanted to reposition him here for a reason. So we're going to go, I'm thinking um, Lord and Clive. I'm thinking we go um, Hodrick and uh, Chloe. So that's a really um, strong defensive unit with a heal. And then we're going to go um, 
for the last, oops, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna go Lex and Travis. So I actually wanna put Lex, uh, hang on, I need to put Travis in. So Travis and Lex. So at the moment, Lex's abilities are pretty bad. As I mentioned before, he's a defender who needs to attack to get his defense bonus. Um, Travis is nuts. So I want to use Travis to tank rather than Lex when we get Lex leveled up. So those are the three units I'm thinking about using. What this does mean is we don't have Joseph available to us, but we'll see how we go. Um, see Lex being lower level units? That's kind of the plan, um, Nicola. Everyone at the moment is level two. Uh, Joseph's a class of crutch character to help you get through the game, and I don't want to rely on him various game masteries if I can avoid it. Um, so we're gonna go for a setup that doesn't use him. Hopefully I don't lose the battle. So the plan is to start with Travis and Elaine's units and then we'll deploy Hodge's units once we've taken the first town. Um, Cause we only have two valor points to start with. So let's deploy um, Elaine's unit. They will be ours. And we're gonna deploy Travis's unit. And that's all I can afford to deploy right now. So we're gonna get them to each attack a different unit. So we're gonna get them to attack these guys, which they'll wipe out. And then we're gonna bring Travis's unit through here. Hero can heal himself, that's the important note. Okay, Travis is actually gonna go in first, that's fine. Time so, we're gonna send these guys in first, because they, so they'll, they'll just get a straight up kill. The number next to their na name, by the way, is how many times they can attack before they run out of attacks, basically. It's an odd way of putting it. Good dodge. So the crazy thing about the cavalry is every time he successfully kills an enemy, he gets another attack. <laughs> exactly, TRM. So that's a, that's a win for them. They just wiped that unit out. But I don't want to rely on them too much. I don't want to overlevel them here. So I'm going to tell them to pull back. Onward. I'm going to get Travis's unit to attack this unit here, which is going to take them a little bit more time to deal with. So you can see they're estimated at taking zero damage, and you'll see why the thief is really powerful here. So the thief has a passive evade, but when he attacks, he steals. He didn't do it. What? He didn't steal the evade. Okay, that's different from the Switch version as well. In the Switch version, when he attacks, he steals. He, st he stole their um, evade passive. But he has a really, really high dodge rate. I'm a little bit worried. If he's not doing that, that's a problem. I don't. It's kind of like an auto battler, but you still have to move your units around and the objectives. Let me just check something here. He does have passive steal. Doesn't apply if they guard the first hit. Ah, he must have guarded the first hit. That's what happened. Okay, we're going to send Travis's unit in again to finish this unit off. And we're going to get Elaine's unit to come down and attack the guys defending the harbor. Damn, it looks like they've got their guys crawling all over the harbor. And judging by appearances, I suspect they have more units ready to join the battle at any unit. So this control the enemy army will occasionally call reinforcements into battle. Try attacking the enemy controlling the facility which to stem the tide. This will force them to stop summoning reinforcements. It's got elements of an auto battler, but um, you're like moving your auto battler units around. Yeah, he steals their passive. He, he steals. He does steal their PP. Yes. Oh, hello, hello, puppy. Okay, the puppies come back to lie in her bed um, and make lots of noises in the background. So enjoy that. Hope you've made your peace. <laughs> oh, she's gonna make so much noise. If she's making too much noise, let me know. But I don't want to take her toy away from her. Her toy is a plastic um, bottle she stole. You can see the thief is nuts. But if he gets hit, he's going to get destroyed. Open harbor in French? Interesting, Don. Thank you for letting us know. Yeah, he's just going to dance all day. He's like the World of Warcraft rogue's greatest fantasy in Evasion Tank. I'm um, engaging in battle consumes one stamina. Send the shield to the unit's right. Units with zero stamina will be unable to move. You never want to let that happen. A uh, unit stopping stamina is determined by its leader. Is the dog making too much noise? <laughs> She's making a lot of noise. When possible, your highness should try to avoid using only a single unit in battle. Should your stamina be exhausted, they will have no choice but to rest. And if they get attacked while they're resting, it's not good. All right. Um, let's get Travis to finish off his target. And we'll let Elaine go and attack the guys in the in there. Okay, good. The main unit point of this unit is to level Lex up. Just getting started. Because Lex seems pretty useless at the moment. We're going to rest this unit so it gets its its um, its stamina back. So when this clock, while they're in this state here, they're super vulnerable, um, and they will get like wrecked if they get attacked. All right, let's send in let's send in the power squad. <laughs> He 
things down. The climb is a very powerful knight, I'll give him that. Alright, we've taken the harbor. Victory grows ever closer. He does indeed watch and enjoy watching that thief do backflips. He's like, why did I spend all this time training if the thief can just do backflips? Alright, so we're going to capture the harbor. What we're going to do now is we're going to... Um, Oh, kind sir. Thank you for saving us. I hope this can prove useful in the battles ahead. Thank you, town girl. Hey, Notorious, how's it going? Um, acquired a revival orb, which probably sounds quite useful. And what we're going to do now is we're going to deploy Hodrick's unit. I'm going to send them. I think they can take the bridge. They might not be able to take the bridge. Their offensive power is very low. Hmm. The bridge there appears to be held by enemy spear bearers. Not only are they capable of delivering piercing attacks on an entire column, but they deal heavy damage to cavalry as well. I suggest you exercise the utmost caution in handling them, uh, my prince. Um, so, yeah, the spear wielders will attack a whole row, a whole column, which is why I set all of my units up at, um, off, off, off center, basically. Um, I don't know if Hodrick is good enough to take the, um, the bridge on his own. We might need to get a lane's unit to damage them first. Uh, because if I send a lane in, a lane can just, yeah, a lane will soften them up, and then we'll send Hodrick in to finish. You face me. I don't think I think it's the liberal I think it's old e oldie English really. You can see how good the self heal on the main character is. If you put um, Clive in the front row, he would have again been wrecked by these guys because they would have um, gotten damage bonus with their spears against him. All right, now we'll get Hodrick's team in to finish off the bridge people, which will get them some experience. And they're gonna hold the bridge for me. There we go. Are you okay? That's a pretty good combo, these two, because she can just heal him and they can hold this bridge forever. Heh, gives on half bad. Come on boys, it's time we teach them what they're up against. There are more of them? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> well, we're healing ourselves too, Lightning. Alas, it is no joke. As we stand our ground and wait their advance rather than charge blindly forward. Game of Thrones also used um, Sir for Mildred English. Yeah. Facilities such as towns and bridges have a variety of garrison effects which are bestowed upon the unit garrisoned within. These effects can prove quite powerful, so try to garrison units and facilities whenever enemies approach. If you wish to review a garrison effect, simply move the cursor over that facility. You can now skip battles using start, um, and you don't have to watch them. So this gives no stamina consumption, which is pretty big. It means they can basically hold this bridge forever. So I'm going I'm to put Hodrick's unit you know, on there, and they're now protecting the bridge. It's kind of exact. That's very good um, approximation, Metronius. Right, let's get Travis's unit, and we're gonna. what we're going to do is we're going to hold the bridge with Hodrick's unit. I'm going to send these units down here to clear this area here, come around here, and we'll attack from this side here. That's the plan. He does have an interesting user issue using a spear, doesn't he? You, shall go no you can see that you're going to take no damage from this attack. So you can just hold this bridge forever. <coughs> Tell me. Why are you barking? You've got access to the house. What's wrong? Why are you being a bad dog this morning? Wait a second, let's have a dog out. I don't know what's up with her this morning. She's just super hyper. <laughs> She's super hyper. It's super early in the morning. You need to go to sleep. No, go to sleep. <laughs> Why are you being a brat? She wants to play. That's what she wants to do. She wants to play. Let me go and get her octopus. I'll be right back. Super wake puppy. She's gone outside, so we'll see if she chills outside. Okay, back to back to war. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, what's everyone asking? 
Uh, cool S. Yeah, it's um, it's a strategy game. Uh, it looks really interesting, and we're trying it out. Yeah, I'm doing the mic. She didn't bark all the time while I was dealing with her, but she's she's outside for now. Chloe and the Hoplite are actually looking to be a pretty good unit working together. Very strong opinions. You okay? Healing. Yeah, you can see that um, as long as they've got stamina, Hodrick's going to be able to hold this this bridge pretty much forever. And because the bridge doesn't mean they, means they lose their stamina, it's uh, it's pretty powerful. All right, you guys are both level two. You guys are both level two. Go I'm going to send you in first, I think. Sure. I've arrived. I'll make it quick. Yeah. Steal that PP. So he's got a really low hit rate as it is, and then if they do actually roll a hit, he just uses his evade ability. The problem is against these these um, axe bearers is they do have the passive uh, withdrawal attack, but he steals it when he steals the PP, so. I want his squad to finish these guys off, and I want Elaine to deal with these guys. To me. Go on. There in a second. You shall. I'm just gonna skip this battle. There's no point watching the defense fights. I think. <laughs> exactly. Barricade the bridge. Okay. So we're gonna skip the bridge defense fights. I don't think we need to see them. Who's attacking here? Is it the? Time it's. Your villainy ends here. I'll make it quick. Yeah, we're gonna send in a lanes unit to deal with the guys that just attacked us. Being able to swap units that are close to each other. Oh, there's definitely gonna be fist and fantasy stuff. There's definitely magic. I don't know about firearms. He does indeed steal their PP. <laughs> I love this. Nice work, Elaine squad. Oh, that's a terrible level up. Magic defense up by one. Come on, Elaine. Oh, he attacked. I thought. Okay, I thought it was the other unit he was attacking. Will you kill these guys if you attack them? Yeah, you will. Let's get... Yeah. I want Travis's squad to get okay, a kill. Long. It's really important to me that we level up together, because if I don't, they don't level up together, they're going to get too far ahead. See, so look. Pass the steal. He stole their PP. <laughs> nice How good is this evasion tank? I've heard a lot of things about Beletro, yeah. Just finding the time at the moment, Kulas. There's so many good games coming out, and I do not have a lot of time. All right, we're gonna get Elaine squad to continue uh, dunking on these guys, and we're gonna sorry, we're gonna get Travis squad to continue dunking this, and we'll get Elaine to start taking the garrison. And I'm just gonna keep skipping these fights as long as we're not taking any damage. Project just doing his job and holding the line. Hmm, these runes may hold something of use. You can find items by garrisoning runes. Thanks, game. Make it quick. I just wish Lex did more, <laughs> honestly. He just doesn't seem really worth it at the moment. He doesn't have a way to heal himself. His passive defense boost is only dealt through attacking, and his initiative is too low for him to be able to use it at the start of a fight. But we're trying to level them up. Okay, uh, yeah. Is that enough to finish them? Is that gonna be a kill? That's gonna be a kill. Cool. That'll be some experience for Lex's squad. The PP stealer. <laughs> no hard feelings. Okay, and then Elaine will finish. We'll attack these guys. What we'll do is we'll get Travis's squad to rest to recover their stamina, and Elaine should wipe these guys out. We're going so okay so far for expert difficulty. That's such a good ability. Elaine doesn't do a lot of damage, but he's an excellent tank. I don't know if I caught my answer to Ace's question, but uh, there's definitely magic and flying units and those elves and stuff. I don't know about firearms. On my honor as a knight. Ugh, magic attack? When are you ever going to use magic attack, Clive? Victory grows ever closer. Void Stranger. I'm not quite heard of that one. All right, let's garrison this ruin. The path is set for the liberation. Um, acquired a Jew of Strength. We march. So a Jew of Strength. Um, 
It increases a target's physical attack by one. Um, I'm not sure... Hopefully, hopefully, get an Yogar battle. I'm not sure who the best person to use this on is. I think it's Elaine. Um, but it could also be someone like Lex. But I think like Elaine's going to be a unit we're going to have for the whole game. So increasing their strength seems like a good one to use. I'll hang on to it for now. Um, let's let's rest. Actually, we didn't need to rest. Oh well. I forgot that we got a recovery of stamina when we garrison the building. Go no further. We'll just let uh, Hodger do his thing. <laughs> exactly, TRM. Some sexy elven witches. I think she might have been an elven witch actually at the start. Hodrick is just uh, a brick wall right now. You shall not pass this bridge. To be rust on my spear. That's a, a a super victory. That's a kill. Chloe leveled up. Take notes, Lex. That's not a bad level up. She got evasion and physical attack up. I love how she's also dunking on Lex, by the way. Man, it's just resting. A pitiful end awaits. Cool. That's those two units wiped out. None shall ever harm you. It's not on PC, no. Alright, so they're sending more reinforcements up this road, but we're gonna get start heading down here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's get this. Can you guys actually do any damage to these guys? You can do damage. Let's just bring you down to the road sure. for now. And we'll wait for Elaine's unit to catch up with you. Hodor, not Hodrick. Oh, Hodor in the door. Oh, they're gonna wipe them out. We're gonna watch this one, because they're gonna wipe them out in one hit. It's because they're only sitting one unit at us. But at the moment, they're only used for deploying one new units, but there are other uses for battle points, Yannis, which we will find later on in this battle. And it's good to have a lot of them. What's wrong, Zach? Nobody hates you. Oh, I mean, um, Lex. <laughs> I missed that, yeah. I don't know why Lex gets such a, a bad rap from everybody. Okay. Let's get you guys down here. Onward. This the place? Well, I'm a Lex stand, so that's why Lex is, is in my unit instead of being relegated to bench duty. Okay, so you will not quite wipe them out, which means that Travis's unit can get the kill, which is excellent. We march. To me. Shield guy is a beast, but he's very, very slow. So I'm just basically farming XP on him right now. You can see how building some you can build some crazy units uh, already. They keep comparing Lex against Superman that is Elaine, yeah. You know, Elaine doesn't do that much damage. Oh. <laughs> There's oh, animal races as well, cool ass. Yeah. Won't Let's get Travis off. to get the kill. I'll make it quick. Thanks. Yeah. Saw that. You Valkyrie Chronicles. Oh my god, Valkyrie Chronicles. That was a game. See ya. All right, let's uh, garrison the bridge just to get the battle points. There in a second. We'll bring Elaine's unit over the bridge. Onward, the time is at hand. You shouldn't have let your guard down. All right, and let's bring everyone let's up to out. the oh, enemy base, we march. The including good old Hodrick. See how slow Hodrick is? A pitiful end awaits. It doesn't matter who gets the kill, TRM. As long as they're in the unit, they'll get the experience. Are you okay? How good is that unit? Yay, Hodrick leveled up. Just HP. So you saying that... Um, I can't pronounce your name because I think it's in Kanji. But are you saying that the level ups are predetermined? It's not based on the um, attribute amounts they have? One victory begets another. All right, let's bring you down. I proceed? Received. Good, made it. All right, we're gonna have to go in with an attack here. I th yeah. think these guys might be the best choice. Nope, nope. That means that. So this let's here tells me that the thief will not dodge. Basically, <laughs> um, if we send a lane unit in, they're gonna take 
tons of damage. If we send in Hodrick's unit, they're going to do a little bit of damage. I need to like do an attack to trigger a cutscene. So let's just wait for Hodrick to get down here. Time is with us. Should we only keep our focus? Oh yeah, we're halfway through the battle. I didn't actually notice there was a time limit at the top of the screen. That there is Albin, leader of the mercenaries. Don't let your guard down for even a second. The stars displayed beneath a unit's enemy's stamina represent the relative strength of their unit. An enemy can have one to three stars depending on their strength. The enemy with a three star rating is the commander for a given battle stage. Press start to open the stage menu where you can view unit formation, stage of progress, and more. Consider saving for critical moments as engaging enemy commanders in battle. Okay, we will save because the game has told us to save. Oh, that's not where we save from. Uh, we save from here, where it says save. Lu Luishana, is that pronounced that correctly? Yusana? Luishana? Thank you, Janice, by the way. Well, old Lexington needs the prestige. <laughs> Lexington, is that his name now? Lexington. <laughs> okay, change approved. He is now Lexington for the rest of the game. No, the demo's five hours, TRM. Um, I know there's at least another battle after this, because uh, that's as far as I got when I was playing on the Switch. Um, the concern I've got here is that we're going to get wrecked going into this fight. This is going to be pretty hard without Yosef. But let's let's try and trigger it. Yeah. We'll bring the whole, whole squad in. Sure. The time is at hand. To me. What now? Now then. Um, can Lexington get the kill? No. We'll, ju we'll, we'll just let Hodrick get the kill. Trust me, it's not the end of the demo. It's a pretty, it's a pretty, um, pretty chill demo. Okay. Uh, let's send Hodrick's unit in, because they will do a little bit of damage, and that will trigger the next thing that happens. Oh, so you get to see how nuts this unit is. Damn, that was a big hit. Unfortunately, they attack different targets. Oh, that party mode was enough to kill him. Damn. That's okay. We can recover it. Good work killing yourself, Chloe. And not your tank. Oh no, they're too strong. Whatever will we do? He's even stronger than he looks. Can't we truly defeat such a powerful opponent? We can indeed. Our morale alone should be more than enough to see us through. So now we can use Valor skills. Uh, you can now use Valor skills during a battle stage. Use them by selecting the Valor skills option from the unit's action menu. Different classes have access to different Valor skills, each of which consume Valor um, points when used. For example, Elaine's Valorous Order skill grants first strike to all allied units in range, which will prove useful when finding enemy commanders. Okay, so this makes a huge difference. Now, we only have five Valor points to spend here, so we have to make sure that we uh, do pretty well with them. But we've got access to Valorous Order, which costs three, that gives a damage boost of 20%, reduces damage taken by 20%, and grants first strike to all allied units within range. We've got Royal Order, which gives it an XP boost. I'm not really worried about that. Wild Rush, which does some damage. It's like a straight up attack. Um, then we have on these guys, um, we've got Provoke, which just forces the enemy to attack Lex's, Lexington's unit on the map, which is really interesting. Plunder, which just means we steal gold when we attack. And then um, Hodrick's unit has Fortress, which negates stage damage suffered by an allied unit, and Life Aid, which revives all incapacitated combatants in an allied unit to 1 HP. Um, we're going to get these guys to use... I'm going to hold off using the healing items. I don't think we need to use Hodrick here. We can save them for another battle, but we will use um, Valorous Order. Although I would like to get uh, that unit in range of Valorous Order, just in case. So let's use Valorous Order. So now everyone has plus 20% damage, first strike. Now we're going to attack. So you'll do take you'll take 40 damage on that attack. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna take any damage here. We're just gonna try and whittle away the enemies. Let's <laughs> hold the door. <laughs> I was trying not to bring that up. Oh, thanks, Noctt. That's a very good um moment. I just finished my coffee. I might have to give it another second. Alright, let's go into this battle. All we need to do is if we kill one of the soldiers, we can we can overrun them. It's the fact there's three enemies here, that's the problem. Steal that PP. Oh. 
Dodge. 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 That's a lot of dodging we had to roll there. Okay, we just need to focus down that guy on the left. That's a level up for Lex. Did you get something good, Lex? Just leave it to Lex to disappoint with a 1 HP up. Alright, I want to go back in with this group, I think. Uh, no, they're going to take... That's going to kill the guy. That's that. If, so if, if they're taking 29 damage, that means that... Um, that means that Elaine's going down. That's fine, actually. We can do that, then we can re revive Elaine afterwards. That should mean that we're killing that soldier. Onward. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to make sure that Travis's group uh, don't go in. There in a second. Defeat All right. Will soon be upon us. Yeah. Apologies, but I fear we lack the time for pleasantries. Figures. Good old Lex. <laughs> I just need them to wipe this guy out. If they get the kill on this guy, we're fine. Once this guy goes down, this fight gets a lot easier because now they don't have three attacks. Unfortunately, we're going to lose a lane here. I think the parting blow is going to kill him. <laughs> Sparkly water, exactly. Oh, Elaine actually held on. Amazing. Okay, that's a big deal that Elaine held on. Alright. So now we're going to send in this unit, and they're not going to take any damage. Um, and I'm going to use a healing tonic on Elaine, and we can send them in once they've recovered. Oh, wait, Hodrick, what are you doing? Time for payback. Well, their PPs are getting stolen left and right. I really hope not after I invest all this experience in him, Zack. All I can think of is FBS Doug going like, I can dance all day, I can dance all day. Right, Travis, what have you got for me? There you go, plus one accuracy, plus one crit rate. That's a big level up. And plus one initiative. Oh, that's my alarm going off, I apologize. Um, okay, we don't want Hodrick to go in because Hodrick is offline. Uh, you guys are still recovering. Yeah. If you guys go in again, will you be fine? Yeah, that's fine. You just keep you just keep chipping away. Oh, does the dog want back in? Yeah, dog wants back in. All right, two seconds. I'm gonna let the dog back in. I will be right back. Sorry about all the interruptions. Before, where she had the poop zoomies, which is she gets really excited before she needs to go to the bathroom. So hopefully, um, she will chill now. Okay, um, she's just very vocal. She's a very vocal dog. Right, how are you guys doing? Keep going in until Elaine's ready. I shall linger here for a moment. Time for payback. That's exactly what's going to happen, Elheim. They're going to they're going to heal. Still your pee pee. Nice try. There's actually no way this guy can ever beat Travis now, but it's going to take quite a... Oh, good hit, Lexington. I actually want a lane squad to get this kill. Um, let's rest this unit, because they're about to run out of stamina. You never want to go down to zero stamina. Okay, Elaine's unit's back. Let's just check the... Yeah, they're going to get the kill here. That's fine. And that is the end of the battle. Beat level one on expert. Your ye all of little faith. I did it without Yusuf. Damn, that was a big hit. But he guarded that? This guy's nuts. But a big, big crit from um, Elaine there to finish the battle. And a level up. Love to see it. <laughs> we are such we are soul children with a PP. There you go, that's a level up. Plus one HP, plus one physical attack, plus one magic attack, plus one evasion, plus one guard rate, and plus one initiative. That's what I like to see. That's a Lord's level up. And we got a Vitality Talisman, plus 10 HP.
We did it. We won the war. Puppy, that's not yours. You can't have that. She's just still in the cat's bed. Hang on. She's decided to steal the uh, cat's bed. She's desperate for attention this morning. Alone, are you? What happened to your friends? Long gone by now, but with all the time about him, it's <laughs> such a move. What could have done with that? You lot chased me halfway to hell and back, though. The fort's empty, Your Majesty. Not a soul in sight. Guy laid out the bait, and we just had to take a nibble. Strange. Few leaders would play the sacrificial lamb in such a predicament. Exactly, I'm Eminem. Is it <laughs> Don't I Eminem? Yourselves. I would have shook you off like weak old mud if I hadn't heard my leg in our little scuffle. <laughs> right. That's just part of the job. You're gambling with your life. That's nothing you're you comment on. Coin. Then you know how this ends. Stay your blade, Lex. There's something I need to ask him. Elaine's so noble. What does Galerius want with Scarlet? I'll take any scraps of information you may have, please. You do realize I'm just hired steel, yeah? They keep my pockets nice and heavy, and that's as far as my curiosity goes. So, sorry, but I'm not a questions kind of guy. At least not past my bottom line. Well, what do we do with him? Let's say I offered to fill those pockets instead. What then? <laughs> First, I'd ask if you still had all your marbles, but I'm not the discriminating type. As long as the pay's right. If this is supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. We're trying to beat the enemy, not hire them. It's not every day you come across a man willing to greet the heavens in order to see his allies safe. Now, our aim is to liberate these lands from the oppressive clutches of Zenoira and its emperor. I'd ask your aid in that battle. You know, I had heard you were nothing more than the crumbs of some spineless resistance that got chewed up and spat back out. Never would have guessed you're really just a pack of... We did indeed just beat this guy up, but money. <laughs> I did not promise any sexy wishes. Is none other than Prince Elaine, true-born heir to the Cornian throne. That's right, just tell everybody that this is the Crown Prince. <laughs> I would keep that secret. You're trotting around the crown brat of a dick. We heard his leg. We heard his leg. That's what he said. Sorry, kids, but I don't like them odds. It doesn't sound like he's interested. <laughs> Hope you know I don't come cheap. Does that mean you'll join us? Granted, you're willing to foot the bill. King Megan's not an everyday job for a merc. <laughs> but you've seen enough to know I'm worth the gold and more. I mean, he is actually very powerful, so, so I would take him. him. We'll even cut you a little discount. We have not uncovered any sexy wishes. Now that we've settled matters here, we move to rescue Scarlet. Time grows short. Indeed. It's more than evident Galerius has a grand <laughs> purpose in kidnapping. Sorry, Zach. I think he took an axe to the knee. Actually, a uh, sword to the knee. May strike a heavy blow to the He's not a sky on guard. He does look like a Skyrim guard. Perhaps, but this is far sooner than we had planned. Our allies remain scattered through every realm. I still can't get over the fact that the knight's name is Clive. Casting the gauntlet at Renault's feet would only send us all to an early grave. If I may add, there are those among Galerius's adherents who willfully chose to betray the queen those long years ago. I fear we have no hope of avoiding conflict with such base traitors. I was having a lot of fun with the stolen PP it thing. I love it. To bolster our ranks, then, Your Highness. Upon ushering you to Palavia, I labored tirelessly. So now it's time to, to build, build our army. Upon which the Liberation Army can take hold. I have seen great suffering in our lands. Tis true, and yet greater resentment harbored by the oppressed and the downtrodden. I have every faith such fierce emotion will spur them to join our cause. My prince, fly your crest cross the banner of the Liberation. Spearhead the rebellion against Zenoira, 
and you will surely find kindred spirits ready to take arms in your name. Then I will do just that. I only ask that you be the, the dog is still in a bottle of water. The perils of war grow too great to bear alone. Don't pick it up. Okay, now we need to make our her heraldry. So this is something I want chat to uh, assist with. We have to make our banner. Now we don't have a lot of options at this point. Hang on, I just need to get this water bottle off the dog. She is being a nightmare this morning. Every other day she slept in until like 10 a.m. Finally back. I thought that she would just sleep through the stream because she's never actually not. Hey, Shadowdream, sorry you tuned in as I went um, offline for a second. Okay, right, where were we, right. Heraldry, we don't have a lot of options. Uh, let's have a look at the shield first. So I'm thinking like this shield looks quite cool. Uh, we only have two coat of arms options. I think the sword is better than the unicorn. Uh, in terms of the helmet, I think they're all super ugly, honestly. Uh, we also have a crown to put on top. I quite like the spiky one. Um, we can either change out our supporters from unicorns to uh, Lion's Rampart if we want to. We can have a mix because we've got left and right. Um, and then we have our scroll work where we would have like our, our, I guess we would have our, our house's motto on and we have the compartment which goes underneath that. So there's not a lot of options at this point. There is no... There's no fox girls, I'm sorry. No sexy witches and no fox girls at this time. Maybe later. Um, I think we'll just go with a very... We'll just go with the default, I think. You wanted the biggest crown. Smallest helmet. Smallest helmet. Is there a small helmet? There isn't really a small helmet. They're all kind of the same size. I guess this... I guess this one has the... Maybe this one has the smallest. Lions are kind of like fox girls. Um, if, if you say so, uh, to your, there you go. There, there's our heraldry for now. We'll come back into this when we unlock some more stuff. Hey, yeah, rip fox girl. Yeah, <laughs> no fox girl banner, I'm sorry. Right in black, no, I don't like the mix. We'll come back into it later. I want to go on with the, the story. Ah, oh, broken. <laughs> You're, you are all really into these sexy cat girls and sexy, um... A Baldwin 4 helmet, what's that, Shadow Rooms? To be with your highness, suggest we make the fort we just liberated increase the maximum size of a unit. Expanding a unit, two to three. You become a safari of quests as you explore Feverith. You can review the details of any quest you receive by pressing the start button to open the overall menu and selecting the quest log. So uh, you can move freely around the overworld with the left stick, start by heading to Fort Sulaga and selecting visit. So we go to the fort. So this is actually our world map, okay? So not only is this our battle map, but it's also our world map, which is really cool. Um, uh, Fort Slayers do a number of vital services allowing to hire mercenaries and expand your units. Additional services become available as you gain more renown. For now, try selecting expand units. The chat thirst is real, TRM. It's so high. Okay, here you can exchange honors you've earned to increase the maximum size of the unit or unlock additional slots. Um, honors are awarded for feats of valor and can be expanded at forts for the services offered within. Um, they can be earned by completing battle stages, making deliveries, and defeating ordering enemies, and more. So, um, I don't think I can unlock a new... No, I need to be a renowned D to get a new unit slot, but I can increase the size of a unit. And I think the unit that I want to increase the size of is this one, because this unit can deal with enemies pretty well. This unit is doing its job. This unit is underperforming. So I want to increase the size of this one to three. Okay. So now we have three units in that. Now, I can't hire anybody yet. I need to be renowned rank D. So that's our next job, is to get to renowned rank D. It's okay, I, th I like it. I think it's really funny. I'm glad that chat's chatting, honestly. Um, so we got two honors for that. We just need to get to 10 honors to um, increase the size of another unit. A uh, Koai feel. What's Koai, Shadow Dreams? I'm really interested in, in your opinions here. 
As you done, Your Majesty, you can now assign more members to your units. Oh, and people who fight in the same unit will slowly grow closer. Fire Emblem style. As characters gain rapport with each other, their rapport level will increase. Characters with a high rapport level will receive a bonus that boosts their stats while assigned to the same unit. Reaching certain levels of rapport with specific pairs of characters will also lock rapport conversations between them. Now, what I notice is they're like, get Chloe and Lex to be friends. So we're going to move Chloe into Lex's unit. <laughs> Vanilla makes some very nice ladies. <laughs> you should review... The oh, here, here's the mad dog again. She just finished her tune. You should review the formation for our units whenever you have the next seven chance, Your Majesties. You can access the unit formation screen by pressing... Start. Okay. Mind if I grab your ear too? We now have some nice gear in that last battle. Well, you did. Anyway, make sure to share the spoils, yeah? We need everyone armed to the teeth. We want to keep them breathing. So we can equip our units with things. So now they want... Oh, no. Now they want me to uh, equip an item. So we come in here. Um, all right, cool, S. That's, that's, thanks for hanging out. And what I want to do is I want to... Um, every unit has a leader. Change unit's leader. You can actually change leaders in battles, which is pretty cool. Each leader has a special ability. You can also change unit's leader after deploying them, but doing so will cost you one valor point. So what I, want to, what I want to do here is I want to go into details. Um, actually, is this where I want to do the details as triangle? And I want to equip to the accessory slot the Vitality Talisman on Travis, which increases Travis's HP by 10. Chat chat sounds like a shitty Discord channel. <laughs> Gotta go to the 7 them and get a Giga Gulp. Um, are you on my Discord class or someone else's Discord? Same with you, Zach. I've just got different names for the Discord. Okay, she t she the, she's brought her octopus in, which is her latest toy, but it is really crackly. So there's going to be lots of crackling in the background. That is a dog. Um, Jans, I will... Yeah, Star Sector is, 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 is back on the card as well. This is like a weekend thing. Um, so now increase Travis's HP. Oh, 30 Kingdom Rooms. Okay, cool. Thanks uh, for telling me that, Shatter. Okay, so we've completed that quest. We now have another two honors and a novice military treatise. Uh, Liberation Army has gained five renown. So just doing all these little quests will get me some stuff. I used proper equipment was vital, but it really does impact everything. Thank you, Chloe. Oh, what else up here? Come on, let's head to the nearest town and buy ourselves something nice. We have funds to spare after all. Here, I'll lead the way. That's fair, cool ass. And here we are, Your Majesty. This town has both an armor and a provisioner for all your provisioning needs. I'll be sure to make good use of them. Thank you again. So now I have to do a supply run. And we have to do this. Towns will find your army an opportunity to purchase equipment, deliver items, station guards, and more. Complete deliveries to rebuild towns and restore their full functionality. So if we come in here, visit an armor to buy stuff, we know how to buy stuff in games. You're you're in the right place. So we have 6,000 gold. Uh, we can buy the Unwavering Spear, which gives the True Thrust ability. So you see how it has that red bar in the bottom right-hand corner? Um, that's actually like an, uh, a new attack for someone if we equip them with it. Um, this is the witch shop. <laughs> I'll try and find the witch shop. Uh, we can't buy the runic sword, sadly. Um, these weapons here don't give special abilities. Uh, so I think I'm going to spend the money on an unwavering spear. Done and done. That's so cool. That's cool, Kules. Thank you for telling me. You don't. There's no requirement for you to join it. Um, and then, so the runic short sword is an upgrade for everybody apart from Yosef. The hand axe is an upgrade. Is not an upgrade for Alvin. The short spear is an upgrade for everybody. The short bow doesn't go on anybody, the staff doesn't go on anybody. So, um, maybe get two short swords, that seems to be the biggest amount of upgrades. Uh, how do I add two of these? Yeah, we'll get, we'll get two of them. That's all my money. Cool. Done and done. Be seeing ya. Alright. And then, provisioner, we can buy healing items. I haven't got any gold left, so, but we, we could buy some stuff here. And then deliveries. If we deliver three herbs, we'll level the town up. So making deliveries to towns will help rebuild lands that were devastated under Zenorian rule. She's fallen asleep, um, which is great. Will Hodgel have a thrust with a new spear? We'll find out. The requisite materials we gathered from foraging sites in various regions of the overworld. Making deliveries to towns will help rebuild the lands that were devastated under Zenorian rule. Yeah. So if we get three Kunaria herbs, we can do that. And now we've got the quest to do this. Just not talking. Seems to be a theme with me and joining Discords. That's fine. Lots of people don't talk in Discords. There's no requirement for anybody to join the Discord. I was just curious. At least we got our gear sorted. Now, come on, Scott. It's waiting for us. Okay. Could you spare a word for us, my prince? We've received a report that Renault has situated himself in a large city in the eastern reaches of Cornia. Her compatriot Miriam lies in wait not far from there. She awaits our arrival with great anticipation. I've readied a map and marked her destination, your highness. As for the route we take to reach it, I shall leave that decision in your capable hands. And this is where we actually get some control over the game. Um, I've also compiled an archive of intelligence present. You may peruse it at your leisure. Okay. 
Your Highness, given the current force of arms binding rescue will prove an immense challenge. I suggest we first focus on liberating the people of this region, weakening Zenaria's forces, and increasing our renown. Don't go straight to the boss. Is basically what it's saying. The great the, the greater fame our cause bears to the corner, the easier it will be to enlist others to our aid. So we really need to get to renown D so we can hire soldiers. That's like our main focus right now. The priestess abducted is on your main quest. Okay. So this is the world map, and this whole map is walkable. Um, and you can see the area we're in here is just represented by this, which is crazy. So it's a it's it's a small game. This is our first target, by the way, over here. <laughs> That's our first target. Um Yeah, exactly, Zach. But there's, there's a lot going on. Okay, first of all, let's um, grab these. Uh, let's do the, the herb quest. So we're going to grab these. Grab the herbs. Come over here. Um, if we go into deliveries, we can deliver them. And that gets us a bunch of stuff. And it levels the town up. And now they have boats. Our town has really bounced back thanks to the supplies you gathered. Even the sailors seem ready to brave the seas again. I'm not going to speedrun the boss. Uh, we gain five renown. Um, and now there's new quests. We need to get some unsullied timber, some Cornelian sardines, and some unsullied scrap metal. We could also now board a ship to sail somewhere. Um, I don't want to do that yet. I'm sure there's a reason to do that. We could also station a guard. Uh, you can station a single member of your army in each town you've liberated to serve as its guard. Upon completing a battle stage, your guard will earn gold for the army and gather materials from previously discovered nearby foraging sites. Um, characters, serving as characters serving as guards will be deployed in battle stages, so feel free to post them in every time you liberate. It means you don't have to travel back to gather materials, so we're definitely going to do that. We're going to leave Lex here. Um, and let's do some more stuff. Uh, give gifts. Yeah, you can give gifts to people that are stationed in towns. So we're not going to do that right now. Um, let's grab whatever this is. Acquire a divine shard. We can talk to people too, um, but I'm not going to do too much of that right now. There's a quest down here we can pick up. What am I doing? Looking for materials to help this place rebuild, of course. If you deliver the items to a town lunch, you'll get a nice reward to make up trouble. Oh, I should have told these people first. You should try making deliveries too. Obtain materials and deliver them. Looks like you're way ahead of me, though. Guess I'm always going to do more than just fight. Keep it up and I'll come back Okay, so I still completed the quest, even though I didn't actually do it. That's good. It's more renown. That's what we're focusing on here. We need to get this renown up. It's good to see you, Your Highness. I'm pleased to report that you can station guards in towns you've liberated. After you station a guard, you can speak to them and even give them gifts if you'd like. Oh, and a guard attempt will send funds to support the liberation. I'll also gather materials from us from nearby foraging sites. And a guard can join you in battle. Wait, you've already stationed someone? I should never have doubted you. Yeah, I'm a little bit ahead of the game. Finally, Lex is useful, indeed. Okay, uh, there's some stuff we can gather here. Some sardines. At Forge, you can hold a monk battle to put two of your units against each other. It's a great chance to see how units fare in actual combat, so it's worth giving it a try every now and again. Hiring mercenaries is the only thing you can isn't the only thing you can do. You always never units you're able to command. It costs honors, of course, but it's well worth it in my book. Looks like you don't have enough renown to make it happen, though. Try coming back once people know you a little bit better. So we need more renown, but we can do the mock battle thing. Let me just actually uh, do some editing to units because we could add another unit to Travis's unit. So let's just throw Albert in there for now, and we'll do a mock battle. So we'll put. Um, Albin's Travis's unit up against Elaine's unit and see who wins. No, it's Travis is the one who steals the PP. He just stole Elaine's PP. Actually, no, gar Elaine guarded against the PP stealing. Good work. Just getting started. This is a pretty nasty little squad now. And that should complete the quest if we go back and talk to Diego. That's completed that quest. So we now have enough honors to um, expand another unit. So we'll probably increase the size of Elaine's unit. So now he can have three people in it. The dodge is so powerful because it also prevents a bunch of other abilities from happening. Um, so we, we can fight a battle here. I don't really know why. You've got the look of a guy who doesn't know the first thing about House Carls. I'll be glad to fill you in and even spar if you want to give it a try. Anyway, House Carls like me are known far and wide for our high attack power. I know this is just a little sparring, but don't expect me to hold back. What do you say? So I think we need to try and wipe these guys out, but I don't think we can. Um, but this group will do the most damage to them. So let's see if we get any for winning. I don't want to know what he does with all the PP, honestly. Thanks. So we get anything for winning this. Not 
<laughs> Travis is so powerful. The best tank in the game is a thief. Oh, he finally, that's his first hit he's taken all game. And that's why giving him the health HP up amulet was actually a really good idea. But house girls get a lot of attacks. House girls get a lot of attacks. My partner believes gives me one last attack every time. Try hang up. So, yeah, it doesn't get us anything for fighting them. What we're looking for is new, more ways to increase our. Um, I think I can. Can I sprint? Yeah, I can let him circle the sprint. So there's a battle there which I don't really want to get into yet. What's up here? Fights against more people I don't really want to do. There's some items to grab. Some wood. Um, another divine shard. Looks like we've got two battles up here. Um, there's a potential sexy witch up there to the left. Um, we've got a broken bridge over here. Oh, and something to grab over here. Another divine shard, okay. This guy just comments on the fact the bridge is broken. We don't need to talk to him. So we can either go north or we can go west. Because uh, this is the way to the plot down here. Let's keep going west, I think. This is, by the way, we're now in unknown territory. This is as far as I got with the demo. Oh, I think we just hit a cutscene. I didn't expect that to happen. Curse these black talent scum. You supposed to be the town guard? <laughs> Sorry, sight I ever seen. Now go on and run home if you know what's good for you. Chad is so thirsty. As if I'd ever see to vulgar bandits. Sorry, I didn't realize there was a cutscene here. I would have gone north. I'll strike you down for your sins. Not today, you won't. But I'll let you take that up with him yourself. Me? I've had enough divine judgment to last a lifetime. Oof. You know the drill, boys. Grab anything that's not nailed to the floorboards. He has bad guy. He's so bad guy coded, that guy. Oh, an archer. You are right. I believe so, yes. I didn't think the Black Talons had gotten this far. This dude looks like a fish skull. <laughs> yeah, exactly, TRM. Gamo means rot in German. Ah. Name is Rolf for the Cornelian Militia, and I've been tracking these bandits for a while now, and this is where it's led me. If we get somewhere safe, I'll handle this. <laughs> oh, sirs, you have to help us, please. I have a bad feeling about this. What's happened here? It was a pack of bandits, raided our village in the middle of the night, sir. A nice man named Rolf came and saved us, but he bid us flee and then went off to face them all on his own. That doesn't sound good. It isn't. Order and justice hold little meaning under the cruel dominion of Zenoria, your highness. We'll need to liberate this region if we wish to proceed with any semblance of safety. Indeed, it would be ill done of us to abandon these people in their darkest hour. Oh, thank you, sirs. Okay, so we can... I think we're in a battle. Yeah. L unlimited. Regions you have not liberated yet are patrolled by enemy soldiers, preventing them from being explored safely. Completing battle stages will liberate enemy regions, thus securing the area and driving out the hostile forces. I only pray that the Rolf fellow is alright. So, do we explore this region? And, um... Oh, uh, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. Okay, do we explore this region and get into a fight here? Or do we go north? Um, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do a vote. Let's get chat involved. Um... So I'm going to do a poll, and we'll go um, North Potential Sexy Witch. Oh, can I add more? I can. Okay, hang on. Uh, which way do we go? What are you eating now, dog? What on earth have you got now? Hang on, I need to work out what she's got. She managed to steal the cat's toy. So, um, North, potential sexy witch. It might not be a sexy witch. There is another North as well. Um, North bridge. And then there's one more option. We go West. West, um, archer recruitment? Question mark? 
Uh, let's start the poll and see what people think. What are you eating now? Yeah, you can eat that. Can you eat that? Yeah, you can eat that. So I've, I've put a poll up in chat to uh, see what people are thinking. I'll leave it up for a couple of seconds. Um, there's a day night cycle as well, but it looks at things, which is pretty cool. Talk to Miriam. Who is Miriam? R2, talk to Miriam. Well, that's for soldier resistance. Okay. Increase your available unit slots at the fort. Oh, while we're waiting, I do have access, whoops, to, um, <laughs> can we buy some democracy with our first box? No, I haven't got, I've got a way to do that, actually. We do have these novice military treaties. So, um, grant, these grant 50 XP to an ally, um, or grants 150 if they're under level 10. So I feel like we should chuck a couple of these out. Let's try and get everyone to level four. So I'm gonna give one to Lex, two to Lex. See, Chloe, I can do stuff. Uh, yeah, she's eating, she's just being an absolute nightmare this morning. She's just destroyed, she found, um, she's just finding rubbish basically and eating it at the moment. But that's a good level up for Lex. They've got plus one attack, plus one defense, plus one evasion, plus one guard. Um, who else is still level three? Clive, so let's get Chloe leveled up. One magic attack, one HP, that's not that great. Clive will level up the next time he looks at somebody. Let's give some experience to Travis. We'll get Travis level four as You're well. Impressed. One HP, one evasion, not that great, okay. But oh, we need to equip those items as well, actually. Uh, so let's give, I'm gonna give Hodrick that cool spear we got. And once I've done all this, we'll take a look at the poll, but the, the poll is uh, um, looking like it's, so I'm gonna give him the unwavering spear. Um, he hasn't got enough AP to do both of these, so he's gonna do true thrust over this. Hmm. So this is this is a guaranteed hit, but this does more damage, but this attacks a column. Interesting. When he gets more AP, he'll do both of these, but right now he'll only do True Thrust. I think that's I think that's fine. Um, oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, then I want to give the sword to someone. So I want to give one of the swords to Lex, I think, and the other sword to Lane. So details. We'll change the bronze sword out for the recruit short sword, which does more attack, I think. Yeah. That's right, and then we'll do the same thing with the lane, or with Lex, sorry. Just gonna use the bronze sword in place for the recruit short sword, there we go. Yes, the poll, so I'm looking at the poll results now. Uh, we have 14 votes and it's almost all sexy witch. There's a few people wanting to go west for the archer recruitment, so you're the sensible people. Um, uh, let's end the poll. Is it gonna let me end the poll? Why can't I end the poll? End poll, there we go. The poll should have ended. Yeah, the poll has just ended. So um, we're, we're, going, we're going north. Let's go find the sexy witch. <laughs> the people have spoken. It's sexy witch time. So, oh, cutscene. Hold a moment, your highness. Continuing north in this manner will lead us to a cluster of ruins currently under Zenorian control. This is a dangerous proposition considering our relative lack of strength. May you permit me a suggestion? Thank you, my prince. I've actually got us some, some um, relationship. <laughs> At present, Sonora holds little sway over the coastal region to the southwest here. Yet in their place, all manner of scoundrel bandits, fallen knights, and mercenaries have claimed it as their own. We ought first to head west, free the towns and forts of the region, and expand our army's realm of influence. So he's like, don't go west. Don't fight the potential sexy witch. Um, there's actually, so it, this actually means we're going to have to get into a battle up here. Um, <laughs> so I know that people want the sexy witch, but the game has just told us we are not strong enough to get past the sexy witch. I mean, let's find out, right? Let's save the game. And let's, let's, let's sneak up on the sexy witch and see what happens. The runes ahead are under investigation by the great sorcerer, Auch. You'll come no closer if you know what's good for you. Uh, they're also not a sexy witch. They are, they are very much not a sexy witch. Forge ahead or turn back. Let's turn back. Okay. If they were a sexy witch, I would have pushed forward, but they're not, so I'm going to head south. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, do we have anything we can hand in here? Should we find out what's across the ocean as an alternative? Oh, there's some stuff we can loot here. More sardines. Let's put a guard in this town. Uh, station a guard. We'll put Yosef here. Um, deliveries. They want scrap metal, stone, and timber, which I don't have any of. Is there anything else here? Yeah, there's tons of stuff to grab here. Sorry, everybody. There's no sexy witch. One day we will find the sexy witch. One day. I promise. 
If I have to commission sexy witch art to satisfy you all, then then the chicken, brown chicken, Mark. But why could I chase that chicken? That was weird. I'm just gonna quickly loot this island and then we'll go back here. Empowering drought. Just Google some sexy witches. Gotta say, the idea of meeting a guy that goes out to fight the enemies alone, promising the village the hell will help him, and then running away to potentially meet sexy witches is kinda wild. <laughs> What's with all these chickens? Are you having fun, puppy? I'm glad you're settled, at least. Oh, there's a quest here. What a day. I didn't mean to wallow, but four of my chickens escaped from the coop this morning. It's only natural you'd worry about such a thing. We're glad to Oh, great. <laughs> t <-Rep. laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is actually a quest to capture these chickens. Fuck. So now I'm capturing them. That's one of them. There should be three chickens remaining. So excuse me while I chase some chickens around for probably like a, an epic war sword. There's two of them. Two chickens remaining. Okay. Can I, can I station someone in this town? I can. So let's station uh, Chloe here. Oh, what, del piece, what deliveries do they need? Uh, nothing that we have. Okay. Right, let's get the rest of these chickens and get out of here. I'm sorry about the sexy witch, everyone. I'm so sorry. Oh, that chicken ran away. I didn't manage to catch it. Let's go back here. And hopefully it'll respawn when I come back. Hmm, how do I make the chicken respawn? Do I have to get a certain distance from it? If I come all the way down here... And then go back. Hopefully the chicken's back. Ah, the chicken has returned. Right, let's get this chicken. Got it. Got all the chickens. I'm so glad I came here to do this stupid side quest. At least it wasn't as bad as the chicken quest in Ocarina of Time. What kind of soldier are you? Found my chickens. Please take this. It's the least I can do. A golden egg. And a free meal ticket. What are those items? Golden egg. Oh yeah, who are we gonna give the Jew strength to? Who needs plus one strength? I think that. I think I'm gonna give the plus one strength to Elaine. Um, golden egg. Golden egg. User earns plus one hundred percent gold. And what's a free meal ticket? A voucher good for one free meal at any dining establishment. Um. So you got the ring of the unicorn. We'll give that to Lex because Lex hasn't got an item. Thank you very much, TRM. I think that played properly. Let's get out of here. Back to the mainland. We'll have enough trout to give them to the town, which will get us a little bit more renown. <laughs> Everyone is so thirsty in chat today. What is going on? I've never had a chat this thirsty before. Uh, yes, we can deliver sardines. <coughs> what do you want now? <coughs> what do you want? <coughs> you don't even know what you want, do you? <coughs> oh, this dog, everyone. I love it. She asked me to go outside, but I bet you in 30 seconds she barks again to come inside. Okay, we've done that. We have enough honors now to increase another unit size. T Rem says, to be fair, you've never hyped us up with sexy witches before. <laughs> now you know what not to do. That's fair, T Rem. Clickbait first video incoming, yeah. Okay, I don't have any other units, do I? I could I could put Yosef in a unit. Why don't we put Yosef in this unit? Um, that might be actually a good idea, because it doesn't matter. I don't think he's going to steal XP from anyone. It'll make Hodrick's unit a little bit more powerful. Um, there's no reason not to put Yosef in that unit, I think. All right, let's 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 do this battle. Deploy to stage. According to students have fled calling to town in the wake of a raid Black Town Bandits. Oh, wait. Uh, let's save first. Uh, save. Yeah, he probably does want to go outside with me. I'm going to take her for a big walk after the stream. Don't worry. Let's see how this battle goes. Okay. 
Looks like we need some range units in this battle. A solitary resistance. And you were aided by a man named Rolf, you say? Yes, my lord. He claimed to be with the Cornea Militia. Oh, our, our um, emblem we made is on our shield now. That's cool. Folk ...taking up arms to defend their fellow man. He may agree to join our cause, assuming we can happen upon him before the enemy does. It's worth the attempt, if nothing else. This game is really pretty. Make haste. I still can't get over the name Clive. Please stay safe out there. But we're going to war, so someone's going to die. We shall. The only thing you need worry about is what to do with those flowers of yours. That was weirdly a weird thing to I guess it was a nice thing to say. Okay. Looks like we've got trouble. <laughs> God, Gamble looks rough. <laughs> okay, so we need to protect Rolf, I'm guessing. And it seems he's in quite a predicament. We should speak to him. To initiate a stage conversation, move a character to someone they can speak to and select talk from their action menu. Review which characters can speak to each other by pressing start when selecting stage conversations. So if I do this, oh no, I don't want to skip the cutscene. We lose, we win. Okay. Start. Okay, let me just stage conversations. Who can speak to this guy? Elaine needs to speak to Rolf. Okay. So let's deploy Elaine. I will deploy Travis too. Onward. Oops. <laughs> he looks bad, doesn't he? He looks really bad. Alright, I'm gonna send uh, you down here, I think. This looks like it might be Rolf has a Rolf could do ranged attacks, because that's a really big control circle. Won't take long. Black Talent Scout. Well, I, I just get to watch this. Run as much as you like, Black Talon Swine. That's a good question, Jans. We need equal opportunity, which is Morlocks. In addition to Thieves' natural high ability, they can use Evade to dodge incoming attacks. However, the Hunter's skill Eagle Eye provides a true strike attack, granting the guaranteed hit even against foes using Evade. Ah. So he just stole that guy's PP, which he'll use to Evade, but then... He gets shot in the face. That went better than I expected. Alright, so we need to use the Archers to deal with the Thieves. Let's take what's ours. Gotta be careful here. There's no sure. Archers in that group. Hmm, who are you? I take it you're the one they call Rolf. That depends on who's asking. We stand with the Liberation Army. We just spoke to a pair of civilians who claimed you helped them to safety. So the girls made it out. More welcome news than I'm used to, that. It's as you say. I am Rolf, captain of the Cornian militia. What militia we have, at least. If you're truly willing to brave these bandits, then I'd be glad to have you join me. That's precisely why we've come. We confront them together. Yes. I really like that our coat of arms shows on the shield. That's awesome. All right. Does Rolf join us, or is he going to just be an ally for this battle? Nope, he's on our team now. Rolf joined the Liberation Army. That was easy. Okay, cool. We'll use him to take out all of the hunters. So hunters can directly target enemies in the back row, or single out back row support classes to gain an edge in battle. Not only can I fight battles of my own, but support others from a distance as well. Simply call whenever you need me. You notice that my hunters are able to aid allies from a distance by using ranged assist. When an allied unit encounters an enemy within range, press square to join the battle with a ranged assists. That sounds amazing. So if I press square, I'll support you. we get a ranged assist. Alright, let's see what happens. Holy cool. They're just oh that's really cool. I mean it wasn't a lot of damage, but I don't really care. Nice try. I love that Travis is dodge tanking for these two uh, really buff men. Nice work team. That'll do for now. I didn't have a choice. Alright, now we need to get this unit to attack this unit um, because the time is at hand. they've got hunters. You're not going to do any damage to him. You just guys just move down here. We're going to try and take this fort first. Yeah. Let's move you guys. Can you guys actually take these guys out now? It's going to be kind of a... Let's just bring 
bring you back this way. And I can just swap um, swap these guys in. So uh, basically, um, <laughs> thieves got way weaker now that we've discovered that archers can instant counter them. Yeah, <laughs> way weaker. It's settled. Do you see now? All right. Um, if I get Rolf to attack here, they're not going to be able to clear them out. If I get you to attack here, you're going to take quite a lot of damage. If I get, go uh, on. It's actually this group. I need to check. You're not going to do any damage at all. So, I wonder if we attack with these guys. It looks like we're going to lose Travis if we do this attack, but I'm hoping that if we do a ranged support, it wouldn't actually be that bad. These are indeed now scrubbed here. Oh, something on the ground there. Probably an item. I've had a guess. Come on, let's get a closer look. Moving onto a shining sp spot on a battle stage to collect an item. Well, you guys can pick this up. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and do this with um, range support. Let's take what's out. See what happens. Hope you've made your oh, we take no damage at all with ranged assist. Amazing. Thanks. That was my plan. Um, I hit him. Oh, thiefy thief. It's a dodge champions. Good work. Easy. It's story's been great so far, Scarlet Fox. We're just basically it's very typical um, JRPG. We are building a resistance army to take back uh, the throne of our our, our mum, who's the queen, who, who got betrayed, but because of magic. Um, let's see how this squad does with range support. It doesn't look like they're going to do very well. I think we need to rely on Travis's squad here. Go on. They're definitely the ones that can sure. that can beat these hunters. I think we can find a holy place. herb. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is we need to rest up, Time I think. I don't think I need to use the ranged assist here. I think we're good. I just got a hit in there with our thief. He needs to, he needs passive. Um, and I think because we won, he didn't get it, I think, Jens. Yeah, it's not, it's not your typical RPG where we sat waiting for stuff to happen. We're in our first combat within 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to get you guys to capture this because I think that will reload your stamina. Understood. And you should be able to wreck this guy. It's probably going to be worth putting a hunter in every squad rather than having two hunters in one squad like this. Rolf seems very strong. All right, you guys take Fort Rimmets. Yeah. Heading there you now. guys rest. And let's get Elaine up to hold the line. Onward. The position is ours. All right, we can now... I could actually... I've been waiting to deploy... Um, I've, arrived. Do you need something? I've been waiting to deploy Hodrick, because Hodrick's actually going to be super strong in this fight because he has that true strike spear. But I should have had him out Your from the start. My leash. Received. <laughs> let's set up a battle line here. And I'm actually going to rest these guys. And once they've recovered, we'll just move forward. So, I'm pretty sure that Rolf will wreck these guys. Yeah. Not Rolf, um... Because he now has the True Strike Spear, and also we have Yosef in the party. Oh, so that's a good point. Thieves can't steal PP from people who have guard. Good hit, Chloe. And good hit. Nice. This is a good squad. Uh, this is like we get less... Uh, we maybe do get less XP for using Yosef. I'll need to find out if that is the case. It doesn't look like, unfortunately, Elaine is going to be able to do anything in this battle at all. Which is a shame. 
Um, let's bring you forward to here. We'll bring you forward to support. And the other the other two are... Oh, no. Uh, Travis is back in action. We'll bring Travis up. Won't take long. I've arrived. I fear for our safety. You're not fit to be right. Wow. This spear has changed everything. Stand true. He also has our seal on his shield, which I love. He did indeed learn how to... He stopped trying to stab up with it and started to thrust with it, and suddenly he's a tank. He's an absolute monster. Yeah, try evading that. So they can't evade that attack at all. One victory begets another. I, I agree with you, Hodrick. That is indeed what is happening. I shall linger here for a moment. I'm just waiting for our range support to uh, be back in action. Okay, let's bring them up. Let's bring you guys up here. Right. And then we need to deal with these guards. So let's bring... We need to be careful that Hodrick doesn't run out of stamina here. Onward. This the place? Now then. I'm actually gonna... I don't really want to rest, Hodrick. Let's wait for these reinforcements to spawn, which they're just about to do. There is time yet to claim victory. You shall go no further. And then we're gonna rest Hodrick and we're gonna move forward with the rest of the team. He's got a great stash. I have you. That true strike spear. I didn't realize how clutch that thing was going to be. Yeah, they do have arrows in the back. We're going to have to brave that. Okay, we're going to rest Hodrick. We're going to leave Rolf near Hodrick to defend him if he gets attacked. And then we're going to move forward with Travis on... So, we're going to use Elaine on this front squad. With range support. A miracle fruit. We should look at what all these items do, actually. Um, so, Holy Herb. Allied units recover 50% of HP at the end of the battle. That's cool. A mysterious fruit that increases the target's level by one. We should definitely hold on to that. Because that's going to be probably really important later in the game. Here. All right. Come then. I'll so you. we're going to go in with some range support, and we're also going to use that holy herb. Oh, that's interesting. We're now doing less damage. Oh, because I haven't activated the range support. Uh, the mine will be worth something when we're actually on the the after battle map. I'll show you when we get through this. Good old um, Elaine herself heal. And then Clive is just going to kill them all with his um, AP stealing abilities. Good work, Knight Clive. And a level up for Clive. Plus one HP, plus one physical attack, plus one match defense, one crit rate, one guard rate. That's not too bad. Victory grows ever closer. Alright, and then we want to use... Actually, we probably don't want to use Travis on yeah. these guys back here. Nope, we do. Okay, let's get Travis... Uh, let's hang on. I need to set a waypoint. So we're going to square and then... There in a second. And we're going to send a lane after this group here. Oh, hang on. Um, I don't think Elaine can fight these guys. Oh no, Elaine will be fine against them. It's all good. You face me. Yeah, Clive is nuts. If Clive gets the chance to attack, um, he's really good. Clive's useless against um, thieves though, because they'll dodge his attacks and he won't get any AP back off them. That was a big hit. How embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think it's embarrassing for an archer to be run down by a cavalryman. It, yeah, it would look much better, Yans, you're right. Okay, so now we need to get ready to take on this boss. On. Now, if you go in there, you're actually going to do great. Sure. Fortune smiles empowering draft. So what does the empowering Make draft do? Quick. Increases damage dealt by the user's unit by 30%. That? We'll probably hold on to that. Oh, uh, I haven't even thought about using any Valor abilities. I just realized. Oh, I meant to use fire support there as well. You had some bad luck there crossing paths with us. But... That's nothing a slit throat can't solve. Poison slash. 
I'm gonna do a Travis tank in. Nice, we got the passive off him, I think. Come on, Lex. Come on, Lex, do something useful. He killed the thief. Nice work, team. Alright, who do you want to get the kill here? Um, your guys are all level 3. I actually... What's your Vowder skill? Damage all enemy units within range? Okay. I'm actually going to... I think I'm going to send this guy in to get the win. Just because he's falling a little bit behind in XP. I'm probably not playing all 5 hours right now. I might do another stream next weekend. Um, I did set this stream to end... Oh, hang on. Let's... I just need to tell you not to do that. Good. I think it's I think it's, I think Rolf should get the kill here. No, I don't think we're gonna be bringing fish fish on site. Good guard. Oh, he's poisoned. I don't know what poison does. It does damage at the end of the turn? Okay. Oh yeah, dodge this. <laughs> And now dodge this. Oh, you actually survived that? No surprise there. Uh, let's get a lane to finish him off then. No, I, I actually do want the XP on Rolf. And uh, Hodrick takes so long to refresh his, his stamina. I never miss my target. We're gonna take. We're probably gonna take some hit here. These champions like thunders. What do you mean by same time, Zach? I don't think Gamma might get away here. It's Why do they just shoot those arrows up into the sky when they win? That's really dangerous. Plus one physical attack, plus one accuracy, plus one HP, plus one match defense. That went better than I expected. Ooh, a Viper Fang. Gives poison slash. Attack a single enemy, inflicts poison. That's cool, but I like prefer the evade steal. Oh, that might actually be, you know, oh my god, that might be really good for Lex to make him useful. There you go, that's two battles on expert difficulty completed. God, that's a lot of money we just got. Six honor points. We're still not um, renowned D though, which we really need. I beg of you, sirs. Have mercy on a poor damn soul. You dare speak of mercy. What of the mercy you showed all those? Oh yes, same time. Finished. Next weekend. Please. That's the plan. If I can find a way to get the dog to chill. Back when our mom and dad passed, I was broken. An empty shell of a man, but she never left my side. Stayed right there next to me till the day she took ill herself. Started fading and fast. I carried her slumped round my shoulder to the best healer my coin purse could buy. But it was no use. This seems like a fake tale. Only thing I could do was watch her wither into dust. You ever seen that? It's a pain worse than death itself. Shakespearean level acting here. But I didn't stop searching. Stan or stab, day lightning. After day after wicked day. <sighs> Till finally, I had got what I asked for. But the cost of the cure would make a weaker man faint where he stood. Me too, to him. Oh, I'm not going to do that, M.M. Um, the puppy is very boring. I've never had the gold for schooling. Supposed to make that kind of coin. Thieving's all I'm good for. So thieving's how it had to be. Wouldn't have turned to this if I had another way. A word, your highness. Somber as his story may be, you mustn't let pity cloud your judgment. Only the town watch can determine the appropriate sentence for his crimes. His fate is not ours to decide. My life square in your palms, noble sirs. Please, I'll return everything I stole if you just let me go. Oh, I actually had the choice between set him free and hand the town watch. Okay, chat, it's up to you. This is your choice. Hang on a second. I'm going to drop a poll in chat. Free him or town watch? There you go. The, the poll is up. I'll give you a couple of minutes to um, decide on Fish Face's fate. Oh, I spelled town watch wrong. <laughs> 
So far it's 100% for Town Watch. 10 votes. Oh, it just jumped back to 7 votes, that's weird. Oh, somebody will change their votes. I mean, it's not even close. It's not even close. Okay, everyone is saying hand to the Town Watch. There's no point in continuing this. It's, uh, it's so... So swayed but towards Town Watch. I'm glad you all agree with I me. I sympathize with your plight. I truly do. But even the harshest adversity does not grant license to harm your fellow citizen. Clive, escort this man to the Town Watch. I'm certain he would come back as a villain later course, if you let him go. Heartless bastards. No, we're not. <laughs> Look at him trying to guilt us for doing that. Ooh, 10,000 war funds. So I think war funds are different from our cash gold. I think there's two different um, economies. Yeah, it was uh, 57 for a bit, TRM. So we've been playing for about two hours now. Get, get dead, apparently. Your Highness, we have dispatched the enemy and safely secured the local environs. We may now proceed through this region unimpeded. Ooh, recruit shortbow, beckoning bell, and cornea militia. Oh, we're so close to that renown up. Forgive me if I spoke to turn your highness. I didn't realize just who I was fighting beside. I'm glad they didn't reveal the fact he was the crown prince, just some random archer they found until after the battle. My bow is yours to command. Hoplite and hunter. The hoplite in the front room will bear the brunt of the enemy attacks, while the hunter in the back room can pick off enemies with ranged attacks. Oh, what's going on in the jail cells? There's a breakout. <sighs> Nabbed the key. What are you fools doing here? Don't tell me you forgot the code. Of course we. Yeah, Zach. <laughs> Money's the only thing tying us all together. Just so happens we make a hell of a lot less of it without you, round boss. You dirty peck. <sighs> Fine. Look at Skelly Bro in the back of the cell there, just watching all this. I'm not keen on staying here any longer than I've got. You think I had a bad liberation, rats? Just wait till you see what I've got in store. Oh, I didn't get this. I didn't get the sub um, report, but thank you very much. Oh, there, Scotsman. Thank you, TRM, for reminding me. I guess he gets free regardless. Yeah. Just you wait. I'm not going to forget this. All right. What were those new items we picked up? Uh, beckoning bell. Target unit moves toward the user for 10 seconds. Does not affect enemies in towns, forts, or bases. Interesting. Um, Liberation Army. A member of the Liberation Army uses a preset for her heraldic achievements. Okay. So we can use the Liberation Army heraldry, which I think also gets me some new options. Oh, we can choose the heraldry that people have. That's actually very cool. That's nuts. So you were asking about the, the mine, Scarlet? I can, when I'm in adventure mode, I can get resources from it. All right, what does uh, the town need? It needs trout and it needs sardines. I don't have enough of either of those, but let's, I can't station a guard yet because I haven't got it to level one. I think I also got some equipment there, didn't I? Uh, unit formation. For now, I'm just gonna chuck Rolf into this squad because he's the only person who isn't deployed. And then if I check him out, Uh, he's got a bronze bow right now. Is a recruit's bow a better choice? The recruit short bow has more attack, yeah. But we'll equip that to him. I didn't pick up any accessories there, did I? Still getting used to these menus. Uh, no, I didn't pick up any... No, I picked up that sword, didn't I? I was going to give that sword to Lexington and actually try and make him a useful unit. Viper Fang, Poison Slash. It does more damage and it gives him a much better ability than Warding Slash. So let's equip that. And that means I've got the other sword. I think I can give it to you. And that's more attack for our rogue as well. Cool. Okay, that unit's been leveled up too. Nice. All right, let's see what's going on around here. I've been There's been an item back here tempting me for ages. Divine Shard. There's a TDS system you use for donations free. It was made by a guy called Doug Doug. Um, oh, Dunk Dunk streams to YouTube and to um, t Rams. Not to t, to t <laughs> Dunk Dunk streams to, to YouTube and Twitch, so I've got a feeling if he's made the script, it'll work on both. Um, 
Now, the big problem we've got right now is we need to be able to hire, but we need to be renowned level D, and we're so close, but we're just not quite there yet. What's going on down here? Oh, I'm scared of this guy. He's... He's... Heil there, you got a moment? <laughs> Sorry, t <-Fan. laughs> Commander Travis, is that really you? Oh! Depends on who's asking. Wait, you're from the Tricorns. Sure am. Was just a lowly grunt when you left. It moves my heart to see you remembering me. But it's an awful shock seeing you here, Commander. We heard you were dead. I guess I can't blame people for thinking that. How is everyone? Bruno still running the show? What, you didn't hear? Whole band got rotted by Zenoria. We never stood a chance. I was looking to make it out alive, truth be told. As for the captain, he fought him tooth and nail to the very last, but got captured along with some of the other boys. And apparently now he's fighting for Zenoria, if you can believe it. Bruno would never. I figured they'd make an example out of him, show him what happens if you fight back, but now he's running the whole region. Damn near fell over when I heard it. That doesn't sound like him at all. Things might have gone south after you vanished, but I'll always hold those days with the Tricorns real close to the heart. I'm leaving the life behind me now, heading home to be a family man, but I'm glad I got to see you one last time. <laughs> if you liberate Fo I, I haven't found a Foxkill village yet to liberate I've known Bruno since my old Mark days we even formed the Tricorns together all the more reason you should stay here and find out what's going on you deserve the chance to ask him yourself I've reached the lane more than you possibly know okay looks like we're still heading south instead of east yeah there's a battle here I don't really want to jump straight into a battle I want, really want to get the ability to hire units that's like something we are really struggling for what's down here there's a town, some enemies down south of us. I can't cross the river here. I can't do anything in this village yet. Oh, shh. Ugh. Just got jumped out of nowhere. Um, who's gonna do the most damage here? They'll do 59. We'll send Hodrick's units in. <laughs> Dear him. Stand true. Oof, he did not have any evasion left. Hold fast. But that holy barrier is really good. And then a first aid to top it off. That's a good that's such a good little unit. Even if her boots make no sense. I do want to put her in um Thingy's unit though. Okay. How else oh, Tully wants back in. And I just need to go to the puppy. How else can we get some more renown? I think we might have something we can hand in at this town over here. No, wrong, wrong place. I need to go to deliveries. Right, let me just get the puppy. I'll be right back. Alright, the mad dog's back, so we'll see how um, how she does. So what are we how are we gonna get this last little bit of renown without going into another battle? I don't think we can. I think we have to get into a fight. So I guess we'll just keep pushing south. I tried that. Oh the new town, okay, let me check the new town. Thanks, uh Jens. Uh yes, we've got the sardines. Good shout. That should get that should that should be enough to tip us over, I think. Oh no, we didn't get any renown for that. Damn. Still not enough. <laughs> Why is chat so thirsty? Is it my fault for bringing it up? Okay, let's start a battle here, I guess. Um, I've got everyone deployed into units, haven't I? There's nobody not deployed. Yeah, everybody is deployed apart from Scarlet, who's been abducted. All right, let's save the game. And we'll go for another battle. This actually sucks. We only have three units this time, whereas we had four in the last fight. Just need to get that ability to hire units, and then we can start filling them out. 
A point here is that the forces in Tulist are led by Travis's old friend Bruno. The Liberation sets to discover why the man would serve those who brought the Mercy Band to ruin. I wonder if it's magic. Ooh, they've got gladiators here. They look quite scary. This former companion of yours, Bruno, was it? From my days with the Tricorns, yes. Massive guy, with an even more massive heart. Tell me, Travis, what spurred you to desert your company? Wasn't my call, really. My sister just up and disbanded it one day. Said she was sick of the light wages and the heavy baggage. Baggage? What did she mean by that? Me, apparently. Oof. My incompetence was single-handedly dragging the entire operation. Wow, his sister sounds like a lovely person. Her words, not mine. It's okay, Zach. So I'm just being I silly. I'm just poking fun. And stormed off for good. It was all I could do not to scream. Turns out, sometime after I left, Bruno took the reins and got the Tricorns back galloping again. Hence, they still endure, despite your sister's best attempts to disband. Push comes to shove, though. Bruno would All right, Scarlet. Catch you later. Thanks for chopping by. Not by choice. He was long tired of living by someone Same time next week. Creed. Even when we first formed the Tricorns, he craved independence over all else. So I'll talk to him. Man to hulking man. <laughs> I need to see for myself what fashioned him a mere dog in Zenoira's lap. Wow, it's a lot of archive entries. We should probably read these at some point. Big map. That man there is Bruno. Jeez, Bruno is big. Yep, I could pick his hulking frame out from miles away. I have to wonder, though, what he's doing signing with Zenoria. The Bruno I know would even consider it. I wonder if magic's involved. You can ask him yourself once we reach this camp. Now then, we march at once. Looks like a bit of a gauntlet, this map. Defeat Bruno. Okay, uh, how much... Valor do we start with? Can I get all three units on the battlefield? I can. Okay, let's drop um, Hodrick first as a defense. How will Hodrick do against these guys here? Hodrick will wreck them. Okay. Then we'll drop um, Travis. And we'll drop Elaine. They will be ours. Go on. We're just gonna move everyone up as a block for now. The path is set. <laughs> yeah. They haven't, they haven't put two and two together yet, have they? Wow, well, of course, Yosef is a bit nuts. He's my crutch character. And that's that squad wiped out. Alright, we'll send Travis in against this group here. It looks like they could wreck them. So we don't have access to range support, which I think is because the archer isn't leading the squad that he's in. Let's see how um, our boy does with his new his new poison sword. Let's go, Lexington. Wait, he didn't use it. But I had oh, okay. I've misunderstood something. Why is he not using that attack? So if I go into Lex, condition one or more AP, I don't really... Okay, now he should use it? I've got it set as priority one, so surely that would be the attack that he uses. Let's try it against the squad here. Let's bring everyone through to this point. Sure. Your orders, my liege. We'll bring, we'll get Hodrick to hold to deal with to hold this bridge, and we'll get Elaine and Travis to come and clear this town. But I want to make sure that Travis actually knows how to use that. Lexington's actually going to use his poison attack. So I don't want him using warding slash. <laughs> yes, careful, Elaine. We've got a Griffin Knight, a Griffin, a Griffin Knight. Flying units like them are real good at dodging attacks from the ground. He's right, your highness. Cavalry such as me are quite susceptible to aerial attacks, so I suggest you avoid pitting us against flying units if possible. 
Then a couple of arrows can't fix those, so we've got an archer to shoot them. Make use of each class's trait will give you an edge in battles to come. For example, as a flying class, Griffin Knight's half the accuracy melee attacks from ground-based enemies, and so they're better at dodging than other classes. However, they suffer dumber damage from hunters and other archer classes, so just use an archer. Yeah, there's, yeah, and there's so, honestly, there's so much we can do. I'm going to save that for the next stream where we actually customize our units. What I'm trying to do here is just unlock the ability to get units. So we can start building specialized units, basically. Time for payback. Let's see if he uses his poison sword this time. Yes, Poison Slash. Cool. Unfortunately, he's still not going fast enough to make Poison Slash useful. Because um, you really want... Because poison, poison seems to trigger after the enemy have attacked. Yeah. When the enemy goes... So if he's acting last, what we, what we actually probably need to do is if we come in here, I can set the condition... I don't think I, I want it to be a condition. Um, to, like... Prioritize combats with the most HP. So that means that he'll attack whoever has the highest hit points, which means the poison will be more useful against them, I think. I'll make it quick. I don't even think he's gonna get an attack here. Lex is just not great, honestly. <laughs> just getting started. I didn't have a choice. Let's take what's ours. Grab whatever we'll this is, Travis. Long. Pleased with that, yeah. And then we'll get yeah. you guys to come up here and rest. And now, Much. how are you guys doing against these guys? Not very well. Our lane shoot is actually kind of falling behind a little bit. Now then. They're not really doing a lot of damage anymore. Onward. Oh, this okay. the place. Oh. Good. Can you get these? I am here. We march. Can you get these guys? To me. Your villainy ends here. These guys are huge. I'm hoping Lex is one of those units that like starts off really bad but gets very good towards the end of the game. Because in the moment, his his ability, his like stats and his abilities don't play into each other at all. Right, let's finish these guys off. And then, can you guys do anything about this? Yeah, you can. You can sure. weaken these guys. But I want Elaine's team to get the kill. Come then. That lean edge is so good. Oh, he healed himself. That's what I'm hoping. I'm guessing they'll get. Everyone will get class upgrades. Like Fire Emblem. I don't know if they do or not in the game, but I'm, I'm guessing they will. Fine bout. Time for payback. Okay. Now, if Lex goes before the Gladiator, this will be pretty good. So that's that's gonna do poison damage to him now when he activates. I hope. Yes, he took 18 poison damage. Cool. Lexington did something useful. Oh, these guys are healing quite nicely. We'll send Travis's squad in one more time, and then we'll get Elaine's squad in once they've killed one of the gladiators. Travis's squad is going to need to rest after this attack anyway. Oh, he's so close to dying, that's such a shame. Because, um, you're not going to attack him, because you're going to attack him instead. Oh, the poison killed him, nice. You only were allowed to heal. Oh, good, the party blow got him. Alright, let's send Elaine's team in for the kill. So we'll get you guys to rest, and we'll send this team in to finish them. Cheelers. <laughs> nice one, Artronius. Yeah. 
So the, the cavalry guy is only good if he actually gets a kill, otherwise he doesn't recover the AP and get another attack. Alright, let's uh, capture this territory. Liberation Army, you say? Ah, we're saved. Be warned, though. Bruno's a vicious man and a cook commander. I have a feeling you'll need this. Got some smoked nuts. <laughs> By the way, I must be exhausted from all this fighting. You're welcome to stay in the town if you need rest. When Garrison, te well, Garrison town obviously is a unit will you recover HP. It will also revive incapacitated members. Oh, I didn't know you could revive in, in towns. That's actually really useful. Okay, let's bring you guys. You guys need to deal with the Flyboy. Um, you're going to take a lot of damage from that. We'll maybe use some Valor stuff before you get there, but let's bring you down here. There's no point garrisoning the town because there's only one way through. Okay. How shall I proceed? Um, so you've got negate stage damage suffered by an allied unit. Um, you've got restore for TP. You've got recover an, an ally. You've got. We can't use Valorous Order. We use Arrow Rain to damage all units within range. That might actually be very useful right now if we do this. Yeah, that's done tons of damage to the flying unit. And then we move in to finish them. Excellent. Griffin Zenorian, Griffin Knight. Here's our first Griffin Knight. Let's see what they look like. No sexy Griffin Knights, I'm afraid. Oh, okay, maybe sort of potentially sexy Griffin Knights. <laughs> what a joke, she says. Nice, we got to level up for Lane. He's level 5 now. Plus one to physical defense, plus one accuracy. A quite a new skill. Activates before an ally is attacked. Cover an ally with medium guard. Grants the ally plus 20% defense. That's not going to do anything because he's the only one getting attacked in his squad, but it's good to have. So new skills at level at level um, level 5. That's cool. All right, let's just get you to garrison the barrage, and then you can swap with um, Hodor. At once. Your villainy ends here. I'm not going to comment on that TRM. <laughs> Big hit. Alright. Victory grows ever closer. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring Elaine back to here. To me. We're gonna bring Travis down to here. Won't take long. And then we're gonna get you to hold the bridge and we're gonna just rest for a couple seconds and get everyone's stamina back up. Now then. Okay. Strategic point. Hey, Witcher Wolf, how's it going? Um, okay, there's a watchtower here. And there's a fort we need to take out. And then there's this choke point here. So we probably want to deal with that fort next. It's Fortnite. Do you have, a, have you no stolen a sock? Could be rust on my spear. She's stolen a sock. She's hiding it inside her octopus, but she has a sock. No, it's a cat toy. She's stolen a cat toy. It does indeed have its own um, pillars of physics. Healing. They lie to All right. My shield shall never break. That unit is incredibly strong. We're just going to wait for them to recover stamina. We're going to bring you guys to here. We're going to bring you guys to here. These two are going to try and clear this side area. And then what I'm going to do is... Oh, crap. Can you actually take him out? Yeah, you can. Sure. I'm going to bring you down and actually hold this choke point here oh. with him. The only problem is his stamina might be a problem, but we should be okay. Thanks. Big hit. Sadly, kind of a waste, but it's all right. Yeah, I need, I need a coffee coffee after this stream. I love the bulk up. It's such a hilarious skill. Alright, you guys might as well finish him off. Won't take long. Hope you've made your peace. But we need to rebuild this unit. There's too much offense in it. Like, Lex is just not really doing much. Just getting started. Oh, Lex is at level 5. Let's find out what his level 5 ability is. Plus 1 magic attack. And no, no passive ability. 
Awesome. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's just yeah. make sure that these guys can beat these guys. Oh yeah, they can wreck them. Okay, I want to get Alain to fight these guys. This the place? And I'm going to get Go you to quickly on. rest. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be space things tonight. Exactly, Lightning. Or maybe just later this afternoon. I don't really have any plans for today. Apart from just doing some tidying and chores around the house and cooking dinner tonight. But I'm going to be recording the Nebula stuff today, is the plan. I am with you! So to watch the stamina on Hodrick's unit because it goes down fast. Your orders, my liege. Received. Is Elaine actually gonna catch these guys? There we go. You face me. I'm just gonna skip this fight because it's just gonna be a straight up smash fest. Well fought. All right. So let's. I think we're gonna take out this watchtower first. That seems to be the thing we want to do. Oh, they're gonna absolutely wreck it if they go in. Path is set. I shall linger here for a moment. You're not fit to be rust on my spear. Skip this battle. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not gonna do two streams, Zach. Unless you're talking about someone else. No, I'm just gonna record something for the Nebula series that I'm doing. Do that. I want to do this. So I want you to attack these guys. Take cover. Arrow rain. Damage all units with an Okay, so they're using an arrow rain attack. That sucks. Kind of should have expected something like that would happen. The time is at hand. I'm going to do a little tricksy thing here. I'm going to move you back. And then... Oh, they're actually not attacking. Interesting. Now you really need to get here. I need you to take this thing out fast. Uh, I want Travis... Oh, Travis's unit is not going to wipe them out anymore. I'll make Ooh, it quick. Take a lot of damage here. Let's take a. Stores 20 HP to all. Yeah. Okay, now they're going to wipe them out. They're going to take some arrow damage here from the ranged assist. That's why I wanted the heal before we went in. Oh, puppy, what do you want now? I think if I want to do this next week, I'm going to have to get up even earlier and walk her before the stream so she's sleeping. I can't believe that she's been this bad today. This is worse than when I stream at night. I didn't have a choice. Okay, and then we're going to send... Puppy, chill. I don't know what she wants. What show strength and garrison units by increasing the range and potency of their assist skills? Oh, okay. That makes sense. They're going to take a little bit of damage here. But we can hold in the tower. <laughs> Why have we not summoned Carbuncle? No summons yet. There's a lot of units in here. Oh my god. Clive is just going to go through them like um, a hot knife through butter. a level up for Rolf and Clive. Oh, I think my roommate, my husband, might have woken up. Sharper. Plus one physical attack, plus one accuracy, plus one evasion, that's not bad. Clive, that's pretty disappointing. And no passive abilities either. So if I... Right, we need to take this guy out. If I get you to do that, you're going to take some damage. I don't think I have enough uh, Valor points yet for an Arrow Rain. No, I don't. Um... If I get you to gar well, actually, what if I just get you to heal up? We must. So if I do, I have another healing font. I don't. We have a healing tonic. Let's heal you up. Smoke nuts restore one stamina. Increases damage dealt by thirty. Only units in range move towards you for ten seconds. Does not affect enemies in towns, forts, or bases. Okay, so I can't use that to pull them out. What if we just go for using an empowering draft drought? Oh, they sleep through anything, too, man. Still not going to get the kill. Let's go in anyway. The path is set. <laughs> Come then. Or sexy griffin riders. That's 
just one of them down at least. Oh, nice. We got the passive defense from... Oh, wow, that was a one-hit kill. Right, who do we send back in? Do we send these guys in? Yeah, we'll send these guys in to finish them. We'll send these guys in to grab this, which is a Liquid Fortune. We'll find out what that does in a second. So what does Liquid Fortune do? Doubles the XP and gold gained by the user's unit for 20 seconds. I'm sure there's going to be some great opportunities to use that. This is not going to be one of them. Oh, what was that? I must have heard that too, that big bang. <laughs> Sexy Witch is forever. There's going to be so many people watching the stream right now that do not know where Sexy Witch came from. Magic attack, magic defense, but you don't know the magic unit. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to garrison with this unit, which will let them heal and recover. And we're going to bring these guys over here to help assist. We're just going to skip this fight. The biggest problem we've got with uh, Hodrick's unit right now is they're going to run out of stamina soon. One so we're going to have to give them an option to wait once Travis's unit gets over there. The Alright, we're going to have to leave Alan's unit there to recover health for now. It's not like a big bang to me. There's a dog... Oh, you know what? I bet just happened. I bet the dog... Hang on. I bet the dog has climbed onto my bed. Let me just check. No, it was my housemate removing the barricade I put in place um, to stop the dog getting into their room. Okay, I'm going to rest Hodrick, and we'll put uh, this group in front, and we'll just need to wait for... So they've now healed up. They've now recovered their soldiers, so we're going to send the lanes group over as well. All right, we're making some progress. Uh, hopefully you guys can take out these gladiators. Yeah, you can at least hold against them while Hodrick's team recovers. Getting lots of experience, which is good. I think I need to put Lex and Chloe together in a unit. That might be a little bit better. We definitely need to rethink our units. Um, this unit here isn't quite working properly. It's, it's fine, but like we're not making use of the third person in the group. Like Lex is just doing nothing. Won't take long. Just finish this guy. So I'm just going to skip this battle. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Just keep getting tougher. Level up for Albin. His evasion went up, his crit rate up, his magic defense went up, his physical attack went up. That's a really nice level up. Alright, let's bring you guys back. And we should be able to get them a quick rest, because they rest really quickly. They just spawn more. They're spawning reinforcements so quickly. Alright. You guys need to move forward. So we want to take out this guy. I'll wait for the patrol to come through, which we will one-hit kill. And they're dead. Okay, now this group here, they can one-hit kill, but I might actually want to use... Uh, we'll just use Hodrick's group to take the, the bridge, actually. She's a funny pup. She's actually, since we moved, she's loving life so much more than she used to. I didn't promise anyone Sexy Witches and Fox Girls, so what actually happened before that, Zach, was at the start of the game, because I played the Switch demo first, a unit that in that game was just a lady wearing a cloak was a Sexy Witch in this version of the game, on the PlayStation 5, and I was really shocked. Okay, Hodrick's just reached level 4. Yeah, I definitely think this group is leveling up slower because they've got um, Yosef in the group with them. Yeah. Let's bring these guys across. Sure. And we're gonna try and take this uh take this last point. It as our own. Right, I don't think take you guys you can do well, you guys can do some pretty decent damage. There's gonna be a garrison unit coming out in a second though, so let's just wait for it to come. We'll kill it with Hodrick's squad and then we'll move everyone else I in to kill the boss. At once. What I'll do right now actually is I'll drop a Valorous order. 
Devon gets first strike and bonus damage. Yeah, I guess I did clickbait. No, that's the truth. Okay, let's take on the boss and at the end of this fight. So you guys will not do much damage, but Travis's squad will do a lot of damage. And then hopefully a lame squad can finish them off. That's my hope. Final revival orb, that's cool. We should get in here before the, the reinforcements spawn. Long time no talk, Bruno. I know we didn't leave exactly on good terms, but but what? I've never seen you before in my life. Yep. The magic has indeed been used. Come on, this isn't time for jokes. Do you, do you see me laughing? Now enough of this, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Looks like he's really working for Zenoria then. I'm not certain that's all there is to it. Yeah, Elaine thinks. I'll make it quick. <laughs> I didn't lie on the pole. <laughs> Let's see what you've got, rebel rats. Oh, interesting. If we kill Bruno in the front line, is that the end? Bruno? I don't know what you're talking about, but I won't hear another word of it. Yeah, he's definitely been, he's definitely been magicked. Nice. Poisoning Bruno is exactly what you needed to do. Poison is 25 damage. There you go. Keep dodging. Nice. So we got him with a parting blow. <laughs> I went on 60 witches to myself. If that's what you want to believe. All right. How will Elaine's squad do now? Uh, they will do nothing and the enemy will heal. So we're going to send in Travis's squad again. Hang on. I've messed that up slightly. I don't... Yeah, they'll be fine. And then we'll get Elaine's squad to finish it. <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't promise I was going to commission art. I was just joking. <laughs> Went to a... There you go. Poison killed him. Great work from our legend Lexington and his poison sword. Is that the end of the battle? No. So it does actually mean we have to finish the squad off. That's fine. A lane squad can get can get that and get the kill. Hey, Mishaps. There's been a lot of unicorns and a lot of murder. It was a pretty fun game, actually. Get stabbed. Level six for Lane. Another step forth. There's been only one sexy witch, and that was three hours ago. A brown beret, physical attack plus eight percent. <laughs> now, hopefully, we're going to hit Renown D here. We did a win. I feel like Mishaps is going to judge us. <laughs> Mishaps chat has been unbelievably thirsty. Yay, we got renowned, renowned D. Thank goodness. We can actually start recruiting units now. I'm surprised they locked that out for so long. Now watch us use our MacGuffin to, to, to save his soul. No, no, you should let, 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 let Lane do it. He's got the magic MacGuffin. You've taken quite the fall from grace, big guy. But I know you wouldn't fly Zenora's colors without good reason. So come on, out with it. Careless fool. <laughs> Ooh, nice work, Elaine. Keep your distance. There's something I wish to try. By the power of unicorns. Travis? Last I remember. I was burying my axe in some lousy Zenoyeran neck. Past that, it's all smoke. Figures the bastards got their hooks sunk in me. They've actually got lip syncing on no the choice, character models just isn't it? They take a finger, you take the whole damn hand. Join us, Bruno. Spill their blood under the Liberation's banner. 
and rub shoulders with the rat who left me in the cold? Quit kidding yourself. Days gone, you and me could have had a real go at it, even without your sister leading the charge. But now... Excellent, Mr. That's what, that's what we need. Yeah. You can help us with our heraldry as well, because we can customize our heraldic symbols. Oh, we're not getting Bruno. Oh. What's all this about dissolving the company, Ren? You can't be serious. Ren, that's not armor you're wearing. Serious as a slashed throat. Baron Garia. ride no further. Get it through your thick skull, Travis. I'm done dragging your dead weight around for good. It's not quite a sexy witch, but. Me aside like it was nothing, so I left. Wasn't interested in clipping anyone else's wings, you know. And what? That's supposed to make me forgive you? You dumped us in a ditch when we needed you most, Travis. You hear those clicky clackers? That was the cat. You knew the kind of dirt we ate crawling out. You've got the right of it. I'm in no position to ask favors after what I did. But the truth is, those days we spent playing the fool were. So I have no idea what she's wearing. That is the weirdest uniform I've ever seen. At least everyone else has been wearing something reasonably. I hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. <laughs> she doesn't look nourished. Maybe she's going out with um, fish face. Hold it. Just what do you mean playing the fool? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Mishaps. You're the one who is squeezing out half-brained ideas like they was yesterday's lunch. Harsh words from the man who thinks hatching a plan means a trip to the chicken coop. Miss this something fierce, you know. Maybe I wouldn't mind giving the old tricorns one last hurrah after all. Oh, and so Bruno joins us. Yes, I would like to save. Pretty good for a demo, right? We've been going for ages, and I still don't think we're near the end of it. Put short sword, a light feather, and we've got the tricorn's heraldry. Elaine, yeah? Thanks for having me. Bruno joined the Liberation Army. The idea is a powerful war is capable of hitting an entire row of enemies with a single swing. The glider hides the enemy attack in the front row of the soldier can heal them. Okay. Mercenaries have begun to gather in the forts of Feverith. You can now enlist mercenaries for your army by selecting higher in any fort. You would do well to bolster our ranks if you find them at all lacking. We should also take this opportunity to increase the number of units under our command. You can now increase your units slots by exp selecting expand units at any fort. Hey JD, how's it going? Yeah, it was a very early stream. Trying to get that U US audience, you know? Uh, an icon will be displayed in the overworld where the report conversation becomes available. Select start and select report to see where the report conversations take place. Ooh. I hope Scarlet is alright. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're kind of ignoring Scarlet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So. The foal has finally ceased braying. I wonder if we would get this cutscene if we didn't go this what way. What are you planning to do with me? I should think you'd already know. I have no intention of helping you, if that's what you imply. Your intentions matter not. Though I must say, it came as quite the surprise to hear Hodric had set off for your derelict island. Emperor Galeria you too, Jenny. tendered a fine good. reward for you, and I'll not allow it to be snatched from beneath me. I haven't an inkling how he persuaded you to follow him, but his aims are scarce different than mine own. Perfect to the worst. I advise you against harboring any false hopes of rescue, girl. My hopes are true as the morning sun. <laughs> They'll come. Yes, yes. A commendable show of defiance. But our mercenaries will have made short work of your friends. Worry not. You'll be freed from your burdens ere long. Well, that's not sinister at all. Once you've fulfilled your purpose, that is. In the meantime, do behave yourself, would you? He's a uh, he's um cavalry mishaps if that helps at all. Okay, let's recruit some mercenaries, or at least see if we can do it. We'll grab all this stuff as well. Do 
Give me a couple seconds while I just like pillage all the stuff from this area. Oh yeah, what about rapport conversations? Um, on this screen, we switch character pairs of conversations. These conversations will become available once they reach a rapport level. Some rapport conversations will provide a reward once viewed. Okay. So Cl we almost have a reward conversation with Clive. We have a record. Chloe and Hodrick have a reward conversation. So it's just Chloe and Hodrick. Where is it? This facility has not been registered, so we haven't found the place where they um, have their conversation yet. There's a lot of towns around here. Oh, this is enemy territory. Oh, I didn't want to trigger a cutscene. Wait, is that an angel? Judging by the crest and blaze on her shield, I believe she's an angel of the Palavian Orthodoxy. Sexy angel, anyone? An angel here in Cornea. I dare say that's a rare sight. The Orthodoxy reveres them as an extension of the Heavenly Father himself, my prince. Do try to keep your. Was it of Vincenzo? I'll go back and check. What manner of men stand before me? I am the Knight Joseph, faithful retainer of the Royal House of Cornea. Beside me is the very commander of the Liberation Army, none but the great Prince Alain. Stay strong, chat. <laughs> the Liberation, you say? And I'm well aware of you, Sir Joseph. Word of your exploits has long since reached my homeland. My name is Ocles, Heaven's Wing Knight of the Palavian Orthodoxy. Swords of the Liberation, I would request a kindness from you if you can spare the time. By order of His Holiness Pontifex Arant, I've been she has wing ears. With amassing luminous gemstones known commonly as divine shards. Those that I've unearthed, I entrusted to an old friend. A safe pair of hands who works as a cleric for the Orthodox. Really accurate ears. <laughs> least, it was safe. The church she shepherds, Ronmore, has been seized by a pack of brigands called the Black Talons. I turn my gaze for Whoa. one ungodly moment and look what happens. Oh, we've got, we've got an angel with a rage issue. <sighs> Apologies. Such a profane outburst ill befits one of my angelic stature. Regrettably, my host alone is far lacking the numbers I'd need to mount an adequate rescue. So the Black Talons continue their treachery, even without Gamel among them to chart the course. Oh, about that, Elaine. About that. It seems this cleric is damned without our aid. We should help however we're able. My countless thanks, Prince Elaine. It's as though the Father himself delivered you to me. Clearly she hasn't met chat. <laughs> Rama Tripoli as Easter soon follow the river back to find it. Naturally, I'm at yours to command in the battle ahead. Okay, well that's something to look into. So she hasn't joined us yet. She is merely um, available. Let's see what we can actually hire. Um, so I want to expand units first. I want to unlock another slot, which I can do. Yes. And I'll increase, I can't unlock another slot after this. Okay, I've got two more units. That's maybe a mistake, but um, that's very interesting. We're gonna have to completely rebuild our, our people, I think. Now then, we can hire. Here you can uh, exchange honors. Okay, so I don't have any honors left. Of course I don't. So let's use soldiers. First set the class of mercy you like to hire in your army. So we've got soldiers, gladiators, and griffin. We can hire griffin knights. Or does it depend on where we're hosting them from, do you think? You deduct the honors from this action, okay. Let me just check. A oh, okay, that got us two honors. That's good. Liberation Army gained five renown. Let me just check a different fort and just see if I can get. Oh, I need to check this town out as well. Um, deliveries. Let's level this place up. That'll get us some more honors. Thanks to you, sir. I managed to fix a hole in my roof. Damn catapults. Anyway, hold on. This is good to you. Thanks again. So now I can put a guard here. Um, so we'll station a guard. Uh, we'll put Hodrick here. And then I work up this relationship to me to secluded shore. We'll check that out later. There's so many things just unlocked. But of course. All right. Um, see you, Don.
Have a great day. Thanks for hanging around. It's been really good having you on the stream. It's good to see you. Oh, great. So you can hire different units at different places. So here we can get house carls, hunters, and thieves. And then if I go over back over here, we can hire fighters, soldiers, and house carls. And then if I go all the way over here, we can hire hoplites, thieves, and we actually hire knights. So that's a lot of options. A lot of options we have available to us. Um, that's a little bit overwhelming, actually. I think I need to sit down and work out what we're going to do. There's a quest here. I've been hearing lots of talk about you fighting. Any army person fight back in Sonorian. That's just the kind of cost person like fighting for. If you can pay them what they're asking. Okay, so that's just a quest to hire somebody. Um, I don't think I've got anything I can give to this town. No, they still need five trout. Let's see what's going on at Secluded Shore. Oof. A lot of stuff just unlocked. Which is pretty crazy. Considering we still haven't actually done like the first the, the first story battle of the game. Let's see where this takes us. Um, I don't know if there is fast travel against cities. I honestly haven't checked. Okay, we're on a random island. Let's see what we can get here. Another divine shard. Anything around here? Nope. Dead end. Okay. I've scoured the runes and found an urn of hallowed corn ash. Apparently it holds some kind of divine power if the rumors have been alerted. Hallowed corn ash. Hallowed ash should be used during a battle to revive a defeated units or recover valor points. You can also use it to avert a game over when the time limit expires. Okay. That's pretty powerful. I can't recruit... The only person I can't recruit are angels. Due to vitality. That'll increase someone's vitality. That's pretty useful. So it's worth freeing up these coastal towns because they let you get a little bit of loot. I'll travel back to Thullus Tower. Well, the next mission we're going to be doing is the one with the Angel for sure. So we probably need to work out our, our units for that. So let's have a look at what we've got. Because we need to rearrange these a little bit. The biggest problem we have is we don't have any units. We, the only healer we have in the entire army is Chloe. Um... So who do we have not equipped to sign right now? We've got... Bruno is the only person not in a group right now. So his leader effect is he can break gates and barricades more easily. Um, his unit is break... So we haven't even looked at leader effects. Just his time on resting. Takes less damage from ranged assists. Reduces wait time while resting. Takes less damage from ranged assists. Can provide ranged assists for allies. Reduce wait time while resting. Need more valor points when defeating enemy units. Griffonites are good at dealing. No, that's not true, um, Lightning Dragon. Griffonites are good, good against all ground-based units apart from archers because they get it. They, they, it's a half chance that they get a fifty percent damage uh, evasion bonus against all non-range units. So, um, so higher soldiers and knights for maximum practical armor is good, but I need to look at what their abilities are as well. So I think we want to maybe stop relying so much on Hodrick. Um, how much does it cost to hire somebody? So if I want to hire, we're probably definitely going to hire a Griffinite. So let's hire one Griffinite and find out how much it's going to cost us. Oh, I need, it costs seven honors to hire a Griffinite. And I've got five available. Um, so that's no use. Um, let's just, let's hire someone cheap. I think I want to grab maybe at least one more hunter. Because I think having ranged, un uh, ranged units and a couple of squads with guaranteed hit will be quite useful. So let's hire a hunter. It's going to cost me five. I'm going to hire him. Next, like their name, stat, growth type, equipment, hair color, and more. A character's growth type will influence how their stats improve. The other growth type does not affect their priority. So I can randomize their name, or we can actually name units after people watching. Growth type, offensive, defensive, precise, lucky, Keen, Guardian, Go-Getter, or Rand So wow, okay, there's a lot of options here. And there's a second growth type as well. Change his color, change his hair color, change their armor colors. Okay, wow. Keep a level head, everyone. Bye. If I have to. I have no fear of death. Okay, there's a, a lot of stuff we can do here. 
Can you parry with Bash and Buckler? No, it doesn't really work like that, I don't think. Um, remember that the Queen had two Bucklers. Okay, this is this is fascinating. There's, there's a lot to take on here. So if I take Dennis here, well, actually, we'll name, we'll name him after someone. Um, oh, I can't put a name in. Okay, it's just from a list. That's a shame. Okay, we'll do this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Ste this is Stefan. We'll give him a... So what would we look at? Is precise what we want? Precise will focus on physical attack, accuracy, crit rate, and initiative. Um, lucky will focus on accuracy and evasion. Keen will focus on physical attack, magic attack, accuracy, and evasion, and crit rate. So how's that different from precise? Because precise puts initiative up. I think precise sounds good here. And then we can also further customize this. If we go offensive, we get physical attack, magic attack, accuracy, but we get reduced physical defense. She had bucklers as well, though. Um, defensive. We can go. We can go all in on precise. Lucky. That, that increases their evasion chance. Let's maybe go for lucky and precise. Base color. Let's go black. Hair color. Gold, brown, red, blue, orange. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We'll give him. Probably doesn't want brass armor. Brass armor. What? Is, Silver armor. There's not a lot of choices. We'll go with the black iron armor. Second accessory. We'll go all black for this guy. Keep a level head, everyone. Gotta go. Where should I go? Can we all just go home? Okay. I'll just wait here then. Yeah. That's a good point, Tyler. Liberation. Steal your resolve. A true nightmare. If one ever deserved the title. We'll take this guy's voice. So this is our new hunter, Den Stefan the Hunter. And they can get single shot, dual shot, at Eagle Eye Pursuits. Okay, so I confirm this. Yes, I'd like to hear how this mercenary. Oh. Stefan has joined the Liberation Army. Okay, and that's that's it, they've just joined. And now if I go into my units, oh, and I get two honors for doing that. If I go in here, I can now, for instance, set up Stefan as a unit. I can just use this unit for... I could just, like, use this unit for range support, and that's all they do. And that could be quite useful. But I could also put them in a unit to support. Oh, there's a, a lot to think about here. Um, we don't really have the money to hire anybody else. The other option is I dump Yosef from this squad. Uh, if I go to remove, and then I put... I can put Stefan in this squad. And now this squad also has ranged attacks, making them a very good defensive unit. Um, they'll take a little bit more damage now. But that does mean that I still have nothing to do with our gladiator guy, with Bruno. So what's Bruno's details? Bruno has wide smash. Does that have to be in the front row for that? Attack of enemies plus 50% if the user is 100 HP. So what if we put... What if we make a new unit... Um, we remove Lex from this unit, we remove this guy from this unit, we put Lex in this unit, and we put him in a unit with Bruno. So Lex is his tank, Bruno's a damage. The only problem with this is they're gonna take a lot of damage. But that's really all I have access to right now. So we just see how that works. If you put more unit, uh, that's something we need to find out, LM. I don't know if that is in fact the case. How are we doing for time? It's nine o'clock. Okay, we're getting to the point where I wanted to end the stream. So I think I'm probably just going to save here. And what I'm going to be do for next time, and I'm, I'll open up a, a thread in the Discord for it. We'll work out what our units are going to be like moving forward. And I think that's a good way to do it. So we'll um, work out how we want to put them together. There you go. I've got three hours 30 of playtime remaining. Um, looks like it doesn't tick down while I'm just wandering around, while the, while the game's paused, which is good. Um, so we've still got three and a half hours of game time to go in this demo. Um, the game comes out in March, so by the time we've run out, we'll probably be in March. But I think this is a good spot to save um, and hold for now. And um, I'll probably wrap the stream up here. So does anyone have any questions or anything? Anything they want to ask while well, I'm just chilling? I've got a cup of tea here. My housemate was very ha very nicely handed it off to me. Um, so I'm not like in a rush to go, but I think I'm done playing for now. Um, we'll have to have a look at our hell drain. I don't know if that's going to count tick down the, the game timer actually um oh okay we've got we've got lots of more stuff to customize this actually 
We've got some new um, low compartments. We've got a new shield. I actually quite like that shield. We've got a new couple of new coat of arms. Oh, I like the um, I like this unicorn way better than the original unicorn. Um, also, thank you to everyone for hanging out today and checking this game out with me. It's really interesting. I'm really liking the look of this game. Oh, we've got to have a sexy centaur, and then we'll maybe have um, a, a sexy dragon as well on our on our shield. <laughs> I like that. Uh, we'll go with that scroll work. Oh, we can also change our color scheme if we want to. I don't know how we get down there to do that. I don't know if we actually maybe actually unlock that yet. Well, that, that's our new Howl, right? Sexy, sexy centaur and sexy dragon. Um, yeah. Any any questions or anything? Anyone want to chat about anything? I'm going to try and record the next episode of um, uh, the Nebula Sweet Command campaign today. Uh, sexy Witch is coming. You have to keep coming back to the streams to get Sexy Witch Zack. That's that's how it's going to be. Also, thank you for your input regarding shields and weaponry and medieval stuff mishaps, by the way. I was paying attention to it. I uh, was just lobbing through me in the game at the time. And uh, obviously High Fleet this weekend as well. But for the rest of the day today, I've got a lot of, t I've got a lot of tidying to do. So I'm just going to be finishing off unpacking and tidying the house and apologizing to my roommate for the absolute monster of a dog that is living with us. Thank you, JD. I appreciate that. But yeah, so I'm just going to... Um, I don't actually have... I wish I had another screen I could put up to kind of show that I'm, I'm ending. But unfortunately, I haven't configured this one. Actually, I can do that. So we can do that while we're sitting and waiting. It's not actually a puppy break, but at least it shows anyone joining that like something is, is going on. Um, thanks, Leave First as well. Yeah, I've, I've got so many people signing up to do voice recordings and stuff for it, which I'm really happy about. I've noticed that I tend to just end streams really abruptly, so I'm trying to like sit for like five minutes or so at the end of it. Um, it'll be it'll be later, TRM, so I, I would go to sleep and we'll try and catch you when you get up, is what I'm kind of aiming for, I think. Um, so don't worry about staying up for it just now. Uh, also, thank you so much to Don and to TRAM. I know Don's not in the stream anymore for their um, super chats today. I like thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Um, and thank you everyone just for like taking part in the votes. And, and don't forget, you can like hit me with those sound those sound files. Um, I'm going to try and get it so you can put some gifts up as well. <laughs> Zach's so thirsty for this this, this witch. <laughs> I like that. Uh. Yeah, but don't forget, you can hit me with those um, predictables and stuff. Fair enough. Oh, did I do it wrong? Did I spoke... No, I did spell predictable wrong. I need to get some new of these up. I want to get... We need to get like a sexy witch alert or something. And that was so funny. I might clip that, actually. I was so shocked when um, the character that in the Switch version of the game was just in a cloak showed up in like thigh highs. That was wild. All right, well, if no one has any questions or anything, I am going to head off and get on with my day. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope, no, Zach, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I think it's really funny. Um, I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you 